Hello TFG Radio fans, today we're bringing you a stream. Well, this is just the recording of the stream for YouTube. So what I'd like to tell you up front is that there's going to be a couple of mistakes at the very beginning, a uh, frozen camera, a little bit difficult to hear a couple of things. Uh, we're just getting used to it. This is the kind of thing that happens when I'm not there to run the stream. So uh, in this stream we have Adam, he's going to be running the stream, and Tom is going to be playing Dark Angels, and Jeff's going to be playing Eldar. The point of this stream was to show off the new chess clock rules for Warhammer 40k in the ITC. So you'll see a clock on the screen most of the time, and you'll hear them talking a lot about the clock and interacting with it. And it's kind of to show people who are not too sure about these rules and not too sure about the clock and how it's going to work, how these things are going to work. So I hope you enjoy the stream. And just keep in mind that at the very beginning, there's going to be a couple of small uh, technical difficulties but it gets worked out, and the stream goes on as planned. Thanks, and hope you enjoy. How come you guys been quiet all of a sudden once I, once I hit uh, happy uh, streaming? Well, I thought you were going to be like, Hey, it's Adam! No, because it's not 8.15 yet. Hey, 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 kids! <laughs> uh, <laughs> delete. Let's get rapey. <laughs> no, that was Krusty the Clown, man. Yeah. That's... He's not that rapey. Yeah, well, he's yeah. not. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> The jury is out. <laughs> he is definitely not clean and sanitary and wholesome. <sighs> he's just not a good person. Ah, he's a clown. What am going to do? He's a clown. He's a clown. He's a clown. So people can hear us from here? Yes. Uh, I, so I wish my right light would hit the table more. I'm going to try him out with the end and against the non shooting army, but like, he's so easy to kill. It's like I feel a knight. Mm. Except not as good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He can't even, like, he, gets, he can get a minus one to hit without a late talk, but it's like, I don't know. Oh, so John says he hears us. Well, that's right. good. Which means we can't talk about him because he's, he hears us. Oh. <laughs> Think again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can you hear me Can you hear me okay, John? He says we hear you. So yeah, I'm just wondering how the boom mic's picking yeah. up. Yeah, it'll definitely pick me up, but it should it should get it you. It should be fine. Yeah, yeah. Can't put more. Stuff. Welcome to my garage, by the way. <laughs> nah. You've been. You guys have both been born. So this is actually. Yes. So what I want to do mm -hmm. is I'm going to get um, one of those clear. Uh, I, I heard you can get these clear one inch b uh, battle maps, so that you can lay it out over a mat mm -hmm. and have like a battle map for D and D. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Any bit is dry erase, so you can like yeah. dry erase over it. Oh, that's totally awesome. Yeah. 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 I know Frontline Gaming does that. We'll both do that. But uh, also, uh, uh, the Table War with the Fat That's, I think, who, I, who uh, does the dry erase one. What I've always wanted to do is build a table similar to this, but have like defined sections so you can do like replacement like terrain mm -hmm. so you can like mix and match and but it's like it's hard built so instead yeah. of just pieces of terrain it's actually built into the board yeah and you can mix and match up kind of like those of, like forge world ones yeah i'm gonna get a bunch of terrain here soon but this is the first concept but i'm gonna get some pieces here that i can slot on here for beer holders oh nice the next step that's a smart idea but yeah we'll play D, &D on this too by oh way. totally fit six people around it pretty easy oh yeah for sure I mean, I mean, heck, even, you know, if you just left it as is, yeah, easily you can put two and two and two. <clears throat> not not crowded in the slightest. Nope. Yep. All right, so we got... Uh, All right. right. So stream I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to switch it over to the third view, which will be include me. Cool. Yeah, do it. Well, do you need us in the background? No. Hands on. <laughs> you're all dancing? you're 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 all about this uh hey, yeah, performance I'm at home. Art. I'm at home. he's at home he's relaxing he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's feeling frisky that, that's what happens all right hey everybody coming to you from our burbank studios <laughs> near the burbank spaceport from the same guys that gave you the pink horror tutorial <laughs> and uh how to be how to what to, what to expect at LVO. Today we'll bring you the uh, a game featuring the chess clocks. Uh, today we have Tom playing Dark El Dark Dark Eldar. Uh, Dark Angels. Mm -hmm. And Jeff, uh, number eight. Huh. Yeah. LVO. Best, I'm one of the eight. One of the eight. One of the, one of the ten Eldar players that made the top eight. There's only seven of us. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of the octet, the eightfold path. And... Uh, 
And, but today he's playing. He's playing Eldar today. Uh, very different Eldar. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, today we're, we're today <laughs> today we're featuring more of on the chess clock itself and just the operation of it, uh, not necessarily how certain armies affect it. So we'll probably have another uh, game, uh, another stream of, of a game, which I can't talk for some reason, uh, featuring you know, armies with larger model counts. Uh, but for now, we just want to go over the chess clocks and how they work. Um, and how they should be used, or we figure they should be used. And this is the beta rules for uh, Frontline Gaming. It will be in effect on day two of BAO, as far as we know, but oh, only wow. those with a, I think, winning record uh, using them. Mm. Uh, so uh, if you guys uh, you guys want to talk about which armies, what, what's in your list? Tom, go first. Yeah, sure. So you are the youngest. I am the youngest. That's in terms of races being played on the table, that is also true. Uh, I am running. Uh, You're playing Tau. <laughs> well, that's the youngest, youngest. But of the team, forget it. So I'm playing. I'm playing uh, basically a Deathwing, Ravenwing uh, list. Um, I've got a Vanguard detachment, uh, which has uh, Belial or Belial. I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, two, uh, I pronounce it Belial. Belial, two two five minute squads, Deathwing knights, and a Deathwing ancient. In addition to an intercessor squad, then I've got a. Um, Outrider Detachment with uh, Samael, a uh, lieutenant with a jump pack and a thunder hammer, along with six-man squad of Inceptors, which are hella expensive when you give them plasmas, which I did. Hella. Hella. Who another hella? Another Inceptor Everyone squad in and a six-man squad of a six-man squad of Ravenwing uh, Black Knights and Dark Shroud. So there you go. Oh, Axis of Entropy says the pronounce in Hebrew is B Belial. Did he just spell it? <laughs> he, he, he spelled out the pronunciation. Ah, Belial. Belial. Which I'm not going to do because I am not Jewish. Fair enough. Yeah. So it's Belial. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so be it. All right, Jeff. Uh, I am uh, <clears throat> playing a Wraith Knight tonight because they suck. And, uh, you know. You just want to play it. I want to play it. It looks I love my Wraith Knight model. It looks badass. It um, does. And I'll show it to the camera because it's, I'm vain. And it looks fucking cool, and it never sees a table, so... This camera right here. Okay. Ah. Here he is. The one where everybody could see the back of Tom's head because well, he was standing in front Had of I known... Because he's not aware of where the cameras are at. So anyways, I got a... <laughs> I got a rape knight, because why not? He's got a sword <laughs> and shield. Um, I then have a two battalions, one with uh, three spirit seers um, and uh, three units of rangers. And then I have one with um, a Autark with a missile launcher and uh, a Farseer, and then three units of Storm Guardians with two Melta Guns each, three Wave Serpents, two with missile launchers, one with a scatter laser or twin scatter lasers, and then three units of min sized Dark Reapers with um, uh, the Tempest Launcher on the X Arc for all the goodness. And uh, I am a Craft World Eandon because I think if you're going to play the Raid Knight, you have to play Eandon. So, one of my Spirit Seers will have the Psychotrope of Eandon Relic, which allows him to double the amount of attacks that the Wraith Knight gets, but then the Wraith Knight takes uh, D3 Mortal Wounds at the end of the fight phase. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and my uh, Deathwing Ancient uh, has Shroud of Heroes, which is minus one to hit on all attacks. And he's also your Warlord? He is also my Warlord. My Warlord is the Autark, and he has a Missile Launcher for sniping characters, because... Just because Eldar. Because Eldar. <laughs> uh, also, just a, as a programming note, uh, when the video goes on YouTube, we'll, we'll have uh, John post up a physical list of each army. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I want him to do stuff. Yeah, he needs to work. He needs to work. He doesn't do enough for us. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you guys know what mission you're playing? Yeah, so we are playing mission three from the uh, ITC Champions missions. Um, these green... <clears throat> Uh, poker chips here are the counters. We moved them slightly because we have a camera on the table for the chess clock. So in order to accommodate the train and kind of make the a little fun, we've just moved them slightly off where they're supposed to be in the uh, ITC mission packet. So I'm um, sure that will totally uh, impact the balance of the game, but... <laughs> I'm so already planning it. on blaming my loss You're on that. You're playing Eldar, so I'm not worried about balance. Yeah, neither am I, but <laughs> Well, <laughs> I should have brought... More shooty dark angels, if that were the case. Plus blood angels, apparently. Yeah. So the and uh, what uh, deployment are you using? 
We are doing uh, Spearhead Assault, which is the Dawn of War, but it's uh, kind of pointed toward the middle. So there's a... Um, it's like 18 inch no man's land in the middle, mm -hmm. but then it kind of spreads out toward the sides. Mm -hmm. And we already uh, chose our secondaries, so I picked uh, Big Game Hunter, uh, Headhunter, and Old School. Yeah, and I chose Old School, Recon, and um, I think you also Headhunter. Hunter. Yeah. Because yeah. so I have five characters, four characters. Five characters. Okay, John is telling me to do stuff, so I'm going to do stuff. What is he telling you to do? Uh, he said the overhead camera is not, not live. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> that might have been the one we unplugged. <laughs> no, I plugged, unplugged one and plugged it back in. So. I have to follow it. Go ahead, keep going. The other camera's live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the camera you're looking for, by the way. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, the interesting thing about the clock is... Um, is it on screen? No. Okay. So the clock, we have a, just a kind of a standard chess clock. You can get these on... Uh, Amazon for like 20 bucks uh, and they're very easy to program with a countdown timer where it just keeps the amount of time going. The final countdown? The yes. The final countdown is in effect, my friend. Um, one thing to note is that the ITC beta clock rules have the timer starting as soon as you roll the first dice. So technically we should have been running the clock while we were choosing our secondaries and rolling for the deployment zones, etc. Um, but it, it seems weird to me to run down someone's clock during things that you guys are both doing. So, and you know, to prepare for the stream, also we just kind of rolled everything up and chose everything before that. We'll start the clock. We'll start hitting the clock once we start deploying units. Um, we haven't rolled for that yet, so we'll roll for it to see who to start deploying first, and then um, you know, uh, start the clock, and we'll uh, hit the paddle back and forth for. Uh, after you're done deploying, so you are starting the clock immediately after you uh, kind of start deploying. Mm -hmm. Also, just another programming note, just for those, you might hear a loud noise uh, once in a while as we play. Um, just know those are just uh, Thunderhawk gunships flying over. They are attacking our location, but <laughs> we cannot disclose where they are going. Uh, <laughs> is the, is the All I need to do to tell you is that the Fallen are definitely not involved. I don't even know what Fallen are, so don't there even ask. Go. Who's who said fallen? No, no, no. You just go. <laughs> That's a lot. I can't tell John to tell us. Um, and let's put it this way: the the camera. Just not. keep going. Yeah. All right. So, do you want to start? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead and start. The in the new in the new uh, the beta rules. I think we start once deployment starts. Yeah, the blade roll stay as soon as you start rolling dice, but we're gonna well, just start. We're gonna do once you start deploying. Mm -hmm. So let's roll off to you to deploys first. Uh, we both rolled ones. I rolled a six, so I will deploy first. I'll put a unit of um, uh, rangers in infiltration. I have to clock to you. And I will put um, a unit of deathwing in the sky. Okay, I will put a unit of rangers in infiltration. Deathwing in the sky. Feels like we're having an argument. Rangers in infiltration. <laughs> Inceptors in the sky. Damn it. <laughs> I don't think one minute went by from all that. No, it, it, it doesn't show the seconds right now. Yes. Yeah. Alright, I will put my Wraith Knight. Where is he going to go? There's no cover for him to be in. So I think he wants to just kind of hang right about here. Because he wants to be close to the enemy. And he can move up to 14, 12? That is a good question. I think he's 14 inch movement, but it could be wrong. Here, you can go ahead and hit your clock though, because you just put yours down. I'm gonna put... Having only used him once. So just so that everyone on the stream knows, my Raid Knight made an appearance in my first game of 40K, go ahead, uh, 8th edition, and he was uh, like blasted by a bunch of last cannons on turn one, and charged by Belial. And killed before we could do anything, so I'm very excited that he gets to face Belial on this uh, mission. His movement is 12 on damage. Okay. All right, so I will place a Wave Serpent here. This one has a unit of Storm Guardians with two Melta Guns, mm -hmm. a unit of Dark Reapers, and a uh, uh, Spirit Seer with uh, Quick and Restrain. Okay. All right, 
Uh, so your clock. Clock. And We're showing it off how for easy it is for to forget about it. <laughs> it's all about building habits. I will put some beaks. And then are we saying this is uh, this is blocked line of sight or no? Yeah, okay. sure. Uh, Adam, do you see what he said about deleting it? Yeah. Okay, okay well, so this big screen's going to go off for a little while, but they'll still be able to see the clock. Cool. Which is the most important thing. Yes. Okay, I will deploy another uh, similarly loaded out wave serpent here. With a uh, unit of storm guards with two melted guns, a unit of dark reapers, and a spirit seer with quicken and restraint. Okay, I will put Sammy right here. Okay, I will put a wave serpent here. With um, this one has a unit of storm guards with two melted guns, a um, spirit seer, and a unit of dark reapers. The spirit seer in this one has protect and jinx. Okay. Fuck! <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm already burning two minutes just forgetting about shit. I will put a uh, lieutenant right here. Okay. I will place my farseer here in the building. He has doom and fortune. Okay. I will place. Um, Belial in a teleportarium. Okay. I will place my Autark here. Oh, so that would be that me again? Yep. And then and I'm will, done deploying. You're done deploying? Yep. Damn it. All right, so <laughs> that is the ancient in teleportarium, and then I've got two squads of intercessors. That's the one thing I like about this list too, is that I seem to, I, I, for the most part, I've pretty much always gotten a chance to, uh, you know, go first or get that plus one. But not today, apparently. Not today. I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine drops. Yeah, I've got 11. My LVL has had only two more drops with 11 <clears> drops. <throat> you could go down to 10, actually. I think that's the minimum amount of drops I could do. All right, so this these guys are toe in, and then these gang will be up here. If you want them in the building, you can just put them on the roof and say that they're in the building. But whatever you want. Uh, toe in is fine because they can actually get toe in this way. I'm cool if that's cool with you. It's fine with me. Um, no, I think I'm missing an intercessor. It seems over like here. it's probably working then. Yeah. All right. Cool. The camera's live. You can see my wraith knight poised to destroy this castle of dark angels in Tom's corner. Uh, he will be rushing headlong toward them, and hopefully not die before he gets there. <laughs> we shall see. Okay, so we will... You're done deploying? I am done deploying. So let's roll to see who uh, goes first. Roll the five. I rolled a four, so that means you win. And uh, that is the question. Do I go first or second? I think even though... Oh god, that's a tough choice. You're gonna run out and blast my Wraith Knight. What's the range on the Intercessors? Intercessors' range is 30. 30 inch range on the Plasma Guns? Uh, oh no, Interceptors is 18. Interceptors, okay. That's yeah. right. Those guys. Okay. Um, hmm. A tough choice indeed. I will choose to go second, actually. Ooh. And then let's roll for infiltrators. Oh, you don't have any. Infiltrators. I don't have any infiltrators, so you're. And I'm gonna spend two of my CP to redeploy. So that brings you down to seven. Seven, yeah. Jeff, stop dithering on decisions. No way. That's Who's, what the clock's for. Who said dithering? Team so Miranda. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> You sneaky bastard. You sneaky, sneaky bastard. Yeah, I figured he'll be a little safer there. <laughs> Tick tock, Jeff. Hey, man, it's one on the clock. I can use it how I choose. Right? That's true. I noted, I used it at a tournament we just played last uh, Saturday, and I noted my first turn took quite a long time, but that's. 
kind of just how it goes. So let's uh, put these guys up here. Even the Rangers. of some sort. All right, and this is kind of where you take your first turn to use a little bit of your time as your resource to uh, Make sure you... Can bikes go up this? Um, I do not believe so because it's not a first floor ruins. <sighs> Sammy can, though. Cause yeah, he's a plucky word. Yeah, sure. You can, you can charge my little bucks. That's fine. I'll give, it to, I'll give you first blood. Oh, you got first blood. Yeah, you're going to get it. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> That's all. You can take your first turn, sir. All right. So... Moving these. And so in the spirit of like, you know, um, <clears throat> the clock, I think it's good to tell your opponent generally, this is a good practice anyways, um, to just say, hey, if you want me to move anything for you or measure thing, anything out for you, just let me know. Um, we can go ahead and make that work, so. All right, so these guys are gonna advance up this direction. You mean just move or are they advancing? No, they are not advancing. I should probably use Why did you my say words better. Then? No, now you have to, you said it, now you have to roll it and they have to advance. So another good thing is to use the <laughs> words you actually mean to use. Which is easier when you haven't worked twelve hours in a day. Um, get my little violin. This yeah. guy. You shut up. <laughs> just let me have a pity party for a second. <laughs> let me have a pity party. That's what Dark Angels are anyway. We're this sad is, because... This is how you run your opponent's clock out too, right? Yeah. Yes. You yes, insult them in the middle of the, mm -hmm. the game? No, it's not that way. Yeah, I noticed just to keep you know conversation going. In my tournament games, my Eldar list took a long time for the first turn. And then in the subsequent turns, it went a lot quicker. But we still... I still ran out of time kind of in around... Thank you, Bill Johnson, four. for subscribing with Trich Prime, by the Fuck way. Yeah. My Primark? Yes. Woo! Uh, rumors confirmed he's still alive and we're getting a model. <laughs> there we go. Yep. Um, can you measure the distance from your Wraith Knight to here? <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing it's. I'm, I'm nice one, behind him. That's 16 inches, but okay. I don't think you can deploy there. No, I can't it's deploy fair. there, but I'm just curious as to the distance because I can only go so much. And still hit you, so that is the that is the key element there. Get the score sheet going. You got that pen now? I don't know where I put it. Shoot oh, right here. I got the paper. No, I got a score sheet over here. Okay. All right, so. Raven Wing are advancing this direction. I once played a kid that spoke like that the whole game. You took old school headhunter and big game hunter? Yes. As well, uh, yeah. For a second, I thought you said old school headhunter. I was like, there's an, there an, there an old school version of that rule? <laughs> I, I thought there was always just that. <laughs> well, Johnson, what you missed was me fiddling around with the video because uh, one of the webcams was stuck. So we all missed. And Jeff Dithering. Dithering, tactically thinking, I like to say. Sammy is going to advance and he gets to move 16. Can he, do you want to do anything when they advance? I am not using, I'm choosing not to use that strategy. Hammer, that was a fire raptor. See, look at that, sportsmanship. Oh. It reminded my opponent that he wanted to use his strategy when he was advancing. 
You were a cool wow. friend. <laughs> uh, he's in advance. He also has to go because I know Tom. <laughs> well, that's why I did it. Because I know. <laughs> I wanted that yeah, junior say just say Jeff lost. <laughs> <laughs> he did that. <laughs> Uh, Dark Shroud is right. advancing. <laughs> uh, but I still have an hour and nine minutes on my clock. Thank you very much. <laughs> and Dark Shroud gets to move 14. More Thunderhawks. You're doomed. Yeah, well, Eldar Flyers aren't that noisy. That's for damn sure. True. Um, and then let's see. Here. We're on the wrong side of the tarmac. That's why. Okay, they can see you. That's the important thing. Um, distance from here. Is nine. You can measure, measure out. Yeah, so just right here. Yeah, make sure you do that and then call him out that his turn's over. Back in, dude. And then I think from here is yeah, I'll, I'll right just, here. Just... And then your uh, interception ability, that's within range of whom? And Fars here in this building right here. Oh, so, okay. Could be one of my uh, homeboys. But as, as long as they're within six and can see, right? Can so see it's here. a very active uh, bait, uh, starport, Beer Hammer. Just keep in mind these guys here, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, good call, yeah. There you go. That's kind of where you're at. All right. All the space I need. There's a major operation going on. Yeah. For those of you who are interested, I live near uh, an airport, and it's uh, time for all the evening flights to go out. Look at those bitches. Are you trying to be out of line of sight of this thing? Yes. Should I scoot one of them back? Uh, this guy. There you go. You're out of line of sight. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Time for some shooty fun times. Cool. Shooty fun time. Um, me, bro. So we're going to start with the intercessors <coughs> first. Um, this squad is going to fire at your rangers right there. Okay. Hitting you on threes. Uh, minus one because I am a uh, ranger. Oh, because you're a ranger. Okay. Ranger does have an inbuilt minus one. Nice. So hitting you on fours. So that's one, two, three, four. Oh, good job, intercessors. So half, 50% hit. So purely statistical. Then winning you in toughness three. Yep. So that is four at minus one. So I'm a three up armorer because I'm in cover. I lose two dudes. Let's make it these. Okay. Okay. Uh, these guys are going to do the exact same thing to these rangers. Sure. Actually, first, the Ravenwing will shoot at you. So that is two, four, <coughs> six, eight, ten, twelve. And they advanced, so they are hitting you on fours, but minus one because you're, uh, yeah. So that's not a ranger. So I'm rerolling ones and twos, but not threes and fours. Good. So hitting you on fives and sixes. That's probably why you asked me about that, but I forgot that rangers have that rule. Rerolling everything because of Samael, because I didn't roll any. Those were all ones and twos. Sure. And then fours, this, this, this. So I only got one more. Tom with a fast, a fast dice hands. Yeah, really. Darian's about to start calling me out. I guarantee you. And then winning you on. No, he two. calls you out because you don't you don't do that. What you're doing right now. Oh, okay. You so see that's that used to. Anyway, six that's at minus six at minus three. So three, wow. four by six. So six ups. I saved two. I only lose four. Look at that. Thanks. <laughs> Judge. <laughs> Uh, all right, so then the intercessors over here are firing at that last guy, okay. hitting you on fours. Are you in rapid fire range? I am probably not, so I'm going to completely, well, let's just, see. one guy is, two guy is, the rest are not. So let me reroll the whole thing. So, sure. so that's two, four, two, five, four six, five, six, seven. Yep. Correct number of dice. Well, and the great thing too is that I'm still learning this army. It's always fun. So, and re-rolling once because I'm near Semiel. Okay. This is a miss. This is also a miss. So, five hits. Sure. Needing threes. So, and re-rolling ones because I'm within six inches of the lieutenant. Okay. So, still a miss. So, three. Three. And minus awesome. one. So, four. Up. Save them all. Look at that. Save them all. Check those dice. All right. I and did buy them on the internet. Nice. <laughs> 
Uh, the Dark Shroud can't shoot you because it only has heavy weapons. Samuel, I do not, I, I do not want to say he can see you. <laughs> cool. Why are the I'm buildings okay. on the road? Why are you damn business? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm glad someone noticed that because I'm gonna. I, when they were setting up the table, I said we're gonna destroy the fluff here. <clears throat> yeah, because this is not one of the 500 worlds, so it was built improperly. <laughs> I mean, it's um, obviously a dark angel world. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm gonna use uh, one command point for weapons of the dark age for my inceptors, and they're going to fire at your uh, vehicle. The wave serpent? Yes, I could not remember the name of it. For I a will um, use a, uh, two command points to give it minus one to hit. Okay. Or are you overcharging? I am not overcharging, no. Alright, I'll do it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm down to five. What do you have? Um, I am down to four. So they each get uh, 2d3. Okay. So that's six 2d3. That's a lot of shots. There's a lot of shots. <clears throat> so the first set gets one plus three. Second set gets one Why plus. all those these three three together? Because I can't count. Okay. Um, it's just easier for me to do this this way. It's your clock, man. Yeah. You know? And then lastly, these two. All right. So all of these shots hitting you on fours. Sure. So miss, 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 miss. Oh, nice. I think next time we'll do a drinking game based on how many. I'm into it. I like lights. Like and then your toughness seven. Yeah. And what's their strength? Uh, seven right now. Okay. So weapons of dark age just gives you plus one damage. Yes. So force to wound. So there's three damage instead of two. No. No, no there's two damage, two damage right now. instead of one. So that is one, two, three, four. Still a decent number. So that's six total that went through that, that are wounding, and these are at minus three. Minus three. So six up saves. Two saves, so um, they're and each doing two damage each. So I have the serpent shields. So that means reduce it down to one. One damage. Okay. So you're. You should, actually, I probably should advise you not to do that at all. No, it's um, okay. I need to. I need to ask if it so, has shenanigans. Um, and then uh, spirit stone sticks up. Feel no pain. That's because Tom turn. doesn't win at tournaments with his Tau, so he never has to play actual like hard armies. <laughs> so I, I actually have ones. always played a game <laughs> with Tau, so there you go. Screw you. Yeah, so I just assumed you were gonna overcharge him because that yeah. would go See, through two I days. would normally, um, or I wouldn't I wouldn't be as hesitant, but they they were not near enough to Samael um, yeah. to get them the reroll. And so I just was trying to put wounds on you as much as possible. Yeah. Alright. Um, and once again, I do not believe I can see. Oh, I do not believe I can see with what's his face with Sammy against you and shooting. So I think that's it. Um, yeah. Probably not going to get because you have the minus one to you have minus one. This guy you can't see his top of his gun. Well, from here to there. Move that building. I can see through this to the top, and the top of his gun. All right. Yeah. Get so, at me, bro. All right. So Sammy's got a mega bolter. Save me from sending the two command points out of this round, please. All right. Rerolling everything for himself except for threes, or threes and fours because you advanced. Yeah. All right. Because I advanced, he hits on twos. No, now he's hitting on threes. You have a cloak, so he's hitting on fours. So this is fine. He still has to reroll this, and he can't reroll twos and threes. Oh, well, you're already. Go ahead. Am I not getting that right? No, you're right, but you rolled one, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, so two hits with a regular bolter, <laughs> toughness three, wounding on, so two wounds at regular armor. He's dead. Woo! Didn't have to roll the plasma cannon. Cool. Anything else on your turn? That's it. I owe you a morale here. I lost three dudes. I think they're leadership seven. Uh, so that's good. That's good. I only lost two dudes, actually, so. All right, so you score, <coughs> uh, you kill the unit. I did kill a unit. I currently hold an objective as well. Okay. Uh, you didn't get any headhunter. Uh, you got old school for first blood. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm up. <clears throat> got an hour. Hitting the clock. So someone's asking, um, can a player just gobble up as much time as he wants, or does Tom need to stop after ten minutes? No. So how the cl the chess clock works is it's his time. He can spend out. He can spend however he wants. Um, the ten. You can no, you can no. take as much time for your turns as you want. There's a 10 minute provision at the end of the game. So if both Tom and I have less than 10 minutes left on our clocks, mm -hmm. each of us, then what? when we enter a new turn, that's the last turn of the game. So um, if it's turn five and we're in turn five and Tom has four minutes left and I have six minutes left, we only go into turn five, even if we would 
be able to play through it quick enough to get to turn six. Yeah. That's the rules. I don't mm -hmm. think that's a good rule, but that's the rules. So, um... But, like a, like a good corporate citizen slash citizen of this game, you are choosing to follow them. For the betterment of the community. Okay. <laughs> okay, sure. Craxon wants to know, Tom, how much time do you need to apply the Vaseline? <laughs> to apply the Vaseline? Or the Vaseline? No, I'll let him do it on my clock tomorrow. Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, to whoever that was, nice. I prefer going in dry. There you go. No, you're not going in dry. You're getting... <laughs> Either way. I don't care who's going in. It's dry. It's dry. Okay. It's dry, man. Shaving is how you build resistance. If you run out of time, you're not allowed to do anything except make saves morale, and morale checks, I believe. That's correct. You're not allowed to move models. And I think you can move models to score, but that's about it. Are you allowed to fight back in close combat? No. No. Oh, wow. You can't do anything except make saves, basically. Uh, I'm actually going to advance that ranger unit five inches across the, the threshold here into this other cable quarter for recon. And I gotta get into that table quarter. So this thing can move 16 inches uninjured. Which, since you're... Uh, uh, since I'm the end, and it can do that until it has like three, three wounds, wounds left yeah. or something like that. Most, yeah, most stuff have three wounds left when they hit that rule. Center point is about right here. So I just need to be past that. <clears throat> Sure these guys are closest model. Okay. So that puts me into that table quarter. So nice. as long as I stay in these two as well, I should be okay. And that's in that case, yeah, I was going to say, you might want to move this one to Scooch because... I'll get, I'll, I'll get. Oh, well, no, you have the Rangers too, so that works for you. And actually, I'm going to get the guys out of here first because I was about to almost forgot my Dark Reapers. Oh, oh no! Oh, that shit. That wouldn't be the first time it's happened. But. Let's just get everyone out here, and I think I want to get... Bros out to kill. So there's some Dark Reapers. Yeah. I actually normally <clears throat> don't drop the Inceptors this quickly, but I, for some reason I thought I would be able to score more damage on your Wave Serpent. Yeah, if you haven't played Wave Serpents before, they're very dirty. No, the stupid thing is I have, just not for a long time. So, Like I said, when I was playing Tau and went 4-2 and two at BAO. Okay, I don't remember that. <clears throat> yeah, because you, you were too I, busy I, not getting 4-2. I, I don't remember that at all. Because you were... These are my spirit steers with quicken <laughs> and restrain. And let's get a bunch of melted guns out too. You don't have to do that. You know. yeah, I don't have to, but I'm going to. Oh man. And so this is why my turns take a little longer when you're <clears throat> getting everyone out and like measuring all your distances and whatnot. I actually should just ask you if you don't mind. I'm gonna just um, advance them as I get out. So uh, they're gonna battle focus move so they can advance and uh, still shoot normally. So I can get out three and then I can move 11 inches, so 14 inches or so. Mm -hmm. Puts me about right here. But I really, they have two wounds each? They have two wounds each, that is correct. Oh, those guys and they are toughness five. Cool. So here is some <coughs> melt the guns for them. One, two, three, four, five, six, two more things. Thinking tactically sound here. Let's just save it all for, these guys will do the same thing. They'll get out in advance so they can get out three, move seven to 10 and 12 inches with the advance. Tricky here. Okay. Let's see if I can kill these inceptors with some guardians. Storm guardians, that is. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get out some characters here for some ever so sweet smiting. Farseer wants to move and advance so he can go 10 inches this way. Dark Reapers will advance six here, move six, sorry, not advance. Maybe a little 
attack up onto this terrain. The Dark Reapers here will... I don't think they'll be able to see the Dark Shroud, even if they move, so... We'll just kind of come this way. Oh, and I break, I break a Dark Reaper. Actually, we'll just keep them here on the terrain. Got my little Dark Reaper piece. All right, so <clears throat> I'm kind of getting out my idea is to blow these guys away with my Storm Guardians and kind of create a screen so that his um, bikes won't be able to advance up the field um, and kind of keep them in the midpoint. Um, I need, I've gotten guys onto both table quarters because uh, these guys are over there. So now I'm kind of free to just kind of lean back and, and blast into his uh, inter... Interceptors? Yeah, interceptors of the jetpack bros. Yeah, and this guy I want to be on the other side of here since he's been injured. He wants to avoid being uh, seen as much as possible by those uh, mm -hmm. uh, bikers. I don't know if he'll be able to completely be on the line of sight, but it looks like he will be. Yeah, maybe not from the interceptors, <clears throat> but from pretty much everything. Well, the interceptors I'm not too worried about. Nah, you shouldn't be. They don't have any. Anti They're just more durable, more expensive scouts. Now you have a stratagem where you can fall back and shoot, right? If I I do you? have a stratagem where I can do that. Yes. Okay. Uh, just a reminder that when you guys are only saves, you're supposed to switch the clock. Yeah, um, that's an interesting point. Um, when I played the other day, I didn't make force my opponent to do that, um, but it's something you can do. Like if it's a if it's a complex amount of saves, I think I would make my opponent do that. But if it's something straightforward. Yeah, I actually don't think that you need to do it all the time. This guy will just move up here. Um, personally, I forgot to roll my command, see if I got my command points back, but such it is. Okay, so this guy wants to move <coughs> up 16 about right here. And I want to advance my Wraith Knight. Let's see if he can come in later. Seems like the action will pace them in this game, but he'll be good later on. So he'll move three inches here, mm -hmm. and he rolled a four for his advance, so he can go 16 inches, and so that was three, and then another 13 inches. About right here. <clears throat> okay. So I got my Farseer in position to doom these guys, hold this objective, and fortune my Wraith Knight. I got my two Spirits here with Quicken and Restrain out. Um, I actually... I think I might try and restrain those bikes, actually, now that I think about it, um, to have their movement, which will hopefully move him, keep him from really getting deep into my lines. So let's start with that. Uh, I will uh, try and restrain the bikes. Okay. So I get a 10, goes off, they're restrained. I'll put this uh, condition marker on just to- And that does, on. and that does- It uh, has their movement. Okay, cool. Until my next psychic phase. So, okay. Uh, this guy will cast um, Smite on these uh, uh, in interceptors. Uh, it goes off on a seven, so D3 mortal wounds, two mortal wounds. So, front man dies? Sure. Uh, the Farseer will cast Fortune on, hmm, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if I even worry about my Wraith Knight casting that. You're kind of putting him out of play. I'm actually going to cast it on this uh, Wave Serpent. It mm -hmm. uh, goes off on a 9, so it is fortuned. Got these handy dandy condition markers. And then he'll doom the Interceptors. Uh, 5, I'll use my Runes of the Forest here to reroll the 1. Goes off on a 9, so they are doomed. And that is my Psychic Phase. Um, Let's do some shooting. So I'll fire in this squad into the interceptor, inter, incept, interceptors. Inceptors. Inceptors, whatever. <laughs> so I got two red dice for my uh, uh, melt the guns. Both hit, and they wound on threes. Uh, th your toughness five. Toughness five. Okay, yeah. So three. So two wounds at minus four. I can't stop it because I'm three of armor. And I believe both of them are within six inches. So the first one does five wounds, and the second one does four wounds. So that's just two? Yeah. Because they don't carry over. Yeah, because they don't carry over. Yeah, the wounds don't carry over. I have a grenade in there, and then five pistols. So the grenade gets three shots. Um, hitting on threes. All three hit. And it's strength four, toughness five. So five's a wound. No wounds. And then the five guys remaining each will shoot a pistol. Hitting on threes. Uh, those all hit. Mm -hmm. And then it's strength four again. So five's the wound. 
Um, two wounds. One is minus three because it's a shuriken weapon, mm -hmm. and one is just straight armor roll. Okay, so the minus three roll is a six up. So he takes a wound, unless it's multiple damage. Nope, just one. And then the next one is a regular three up armor save, so one guy with one wound. Cool. Let me get a one marker. <clears throat> so I will start with the... Um, I'm gonna shoot this spirit seer's pistol, his shur uh, shuriken pistol in. Hits on a three, does not wound. Same thing with this spirit seer, he misses. Um, we'll shoot this squad first. I'll fire the five pistols first, okay. then the grenade, then this um, melt the guns. Because I'm trying, the purpose is I'm trying to knock this last wound off this guy before I shoot my melt the guns. Smart. So five here's here's five pistols. I'll hit and threes to uh, five to wound, sir. Uh, two wounds at minus three because of rending or Damn. whatever it's called. So that's uh, six ups, and I make one and one goes through. All right. John just called you the well actually guy. Me? Me? No, Tom. Why Here's my grenade. Well actually? Well, well actually. Oh, yeah, technically speaking. So six shots with the grenade. Uh, they hit on threes. Uh, four, two hits mm -hmm. and wounding on fives. Two wounds Damn. at minus one. Minus one, so. For us. Oh, I'm forgetting you're also uh, doomed, so let's try not to forget that now. Okay. Um, here is some uh, melt the guns. Both hit, thank God. <laughs> One wound, but I'm going to reroll a doom, remembering that for the actual guns that matter. So two at minus four. Okay. Can't the first block. one is four wounds. The second, oh, actually, hold on. Uh, they are still... Actually, now that I've killed some guys, they're outside of six. So um, the first one is four, and the second one is one. So one guy is just dead, yeah. and that leaves the sergeant. Cool. Or actually, that would be this guy. Um, so let's shoot these Dark Reapers. The two Reapers will fire their um, Strength 8 shots into him. Okay. And the Tempest Launchers will target the Black Knights. And and they have that rule where it doesn't matter what's happening, they always hit on a three. Yes. I hate that rule so goddamn much. Okay. So two crack shots into that Inceptor. Uh, one hit. One's on a three, but you're doomed. Still misses. All right, so no wounds. Not doomed And then I get, I get 2d6 shots into the Black Knights. Uh, that's 10. Okay. All right. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 shots hitting on threes. We rolling ones because there's an X arc. Splinter here. We rolling ones. Uh, that's nine hits. Ouch. Uh, yeah. And, the green um, one was a two. Was it? Okay. Yeah. Right. No worries. And then. Um, Strength five, four, toughness five. Toughness five. So five's a wound. Uh, one wound on the Black Knights. And minus two. Minus two, so that's a four up interval because they advanced. Yep. And he takes a damage. Cool. So front, front man. <clears throat> um, Robert Plant. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of the first front man I could think of, and it's a Robert Plant. Okay. Sure. These three, uh, let's see. This Dark Reaper squad's going to do the same thing. Uh, Tempest Launcher into the Black Knights, and um, uh, the two crack missiles into that last Inceptor who I'm trying to kill. Mm -hmm. So the shots into the Inceptor, one hit, one wound, and minus two. Okay, and this is into the Inceptor, so that is a five up, and he makes it. Oh, what a bitch. Um, so 2d6 shots into the Black Knights, uh, that's seven. Five, six, seven. I uh, reroll ones because I'm an Exarch, which I got three of, and that they all converted. And then I'm needing fives to wound. Uh, that is three wounds at minus two. So four up in bulls again, and I lose one, and one transfers over, and I save the last. Um, <clears throat> let's see. This Dark Reaper squad can't see much, so it's just going to fire its um, Tempest Launcher into the Inceptor, so I need to kill him for first blood. So there's seven shots. Rerolling ones, because I'm an Exarch. Two misses. And then I'm wounding on fives, but I have reroll because of Doom. Ooh, three sixes. Five, four wounds at Damn. minus two. So those are five up saves. And I make Ooh, almost, two of them, but almost. not quite. So that is your first blood. Okay. And you killed one unit, so I need to kill. We're tied now. Yes. All right. Um, my warlord can't see anyone to snipe. Oh, you're yeah, dark trap. This guy's gonna shoot crack missiles here. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, frag missiles, and he's out. He's within twelve, so he'll fire his underslung to uh, 
Sunder's on Shark and Catapult. So for four shots from that, hitting on threes and wounding on fours. So two wounds. So, uh, any LAPs? No LAPs. So two up armor saves. Yep. And they're good. Cool. And then 2d6 frag shots. Seven. Somewhere, somewhere, a Nurgle player is laughing how many sevens are being rolled tonight. Uh, these ones miss. And then it's strength four, toughness four. So four is the wound. Not a single one. All right. <laughs> um, these three snipers will fire into your lieutenant. He's a minus one to hit right now. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're hitting on fours. One hit. One wound. No Eight. AP. So he's got a three up armor save. Cool. He's good. All right. Um, so my warlord can see the Dark Shroud or the Inceptors or your Raven, your Dark Knights or whatever they're called. So mm. I think he's going to shoot his two-shot missile launcher into the uh, Dark Knights. Okay. Um, so here's... Hits on twos, but minus one because you're Dark Shroud, so he's hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. Both hit. My strength's five. No wounds. And then I have my two other Wave Serpents. <clears throat> I will shoot this Wave Serpent. Uh, it'll shoot its... It'll shoot its crack. That's uh, frag. It's, eh, crack missiles. Let's do crack missiles. And it's underslung. So underslung first into the Dark Knights. Uh, hitting on fours, which is your minus one to hit. Wounding on fives. One wound. No AP. Okay, so. And this is at him, so three up. He's good. Cool. And then two crack shots. Uh, one hits. I uh, know it misses because you have a Dark Shroud. Mm -hmm. And then this thing, I don't know. Can you see if I can. It's, can the Dark Shroud see the top of this thing? Uh, I would say it can. Because, yeah, it can see the tip of the guns. Cool. So you can see me. So I'm going to shoot into that. It's not the closest unit, so I moved in shooting a heavy weapon, and it's a dark shroud, so minus two to hit. So I'm, I'm hitting on fives. Okay. Uh, here's my scatter lasers. Uh, I hit with none. And then it's underslung is out of uh, range. 12 inches, I imagine. Uh, measure from the gun. Measure from the gun? No, from the model. No, you measure the range from the gun. On vehicles? Yes. Okay. So yeah. That check right. line of sight from the model. You measure range from the gun. From the base, you mean? You check line it's, of sight from the base. It has a base, but it, is it the wave It's, it's, yeah. from the, it's so, model is the base. The whole model is yeah, where you measure Yeah, but you line. measure range from the gun. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, distance, I, I'm pretty sure that special rule says distance is all measured from the pole. Oh, it doesn't matter. Maybe it, it's l it's, um, it, it was It was kind of on a hair edge if it was 12 either way. So yeah, yeah so no worries. you guys. Uh, so let us. Your strategy allows you to fall back in. Fire is normal. Or? Fire is normal. But not yes. charged. Not charged. Okay. No. So let us do. Some... <laughs> yes, John. He did. <laughs> what, did what did John say? He's like, wait a minute. Did Jeff just say he couldn't see Tom's unit, and Tom told him he could? <laughs> nice it's guy, called, Tom. Well, it's I did the same thing to him. It's last called reverse time. bidding. It's where you just overwhelm them with your kindness. Well, see, I um. I let you shoot Samuel, my single scout. In the yeah. Range so, yeah no, there's no way I'm not going to deny you that. All right. Um, so that's all my shooting. I don't John. I don't my care tactical what you're <laughs> The uh, Wave Serpent will charge into the uh, you. those Dark Knights. Okay, so let's see. The Dark Knights get 12 shots. There, Tom the anti-Tony. <laughs> yeah, watch. Next year at LVO, if I actually get to make it, it'll be the Tom Award. <laughs> So hitting on sixes, re-rolling all misses because of Sammy. So what's the broadside rolling, Ray? Uh, it's like Inari can't use craft world stuff. No, we're not playing with that. You don't have any Inari, do you? No, I don't have no. Inari. Jeff does have an Inari because he's playing against Tom and wants to play with a handicap. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're playing Inari, I'd be dead. Um, so wounding you on fours, re-rolling once to wound because of the lieutenant. And that is two at minus three. So These are just one damage each. Nope. And I have fortune. So five up, feel no pain. Two ones. All right. Uh, see what I get for my charge distance. Ten. All right. So they have a 14-inch move normally. Mm -hmm. And they're halved to seven. So mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, be here. I, I want to. I think I'm outside of three of your characters, so they can't heroically intervene, right? It's just if they're within three of the unit being charged, I thought no, it was. No, no. With, for heroic intervention, it's the characters. No, I know it's the character, but I'm, I thought if the if they're within three of the unit that's charged, or am I mixing you're, it up? You're mixing up the okay. heroic intervention rule is if I'm within three inches of your character, they can pile. They in. can pile in and attempt to find. Uh, so what I'm my intent here 
for the viewers is I'm going to tie up his Dark Knights. He can spend two CPs to fall back and shoot, but since he has a seven inch movement, I'm also kind of blocking off his, <clears throat> his avenue of approach. He'll have to move to about here. He won't be able to charge, which is a nice thing, and he won't be able to advance. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I'm not really worried about him killing me in combat. So, oh, you should be. You know. All right. These fuckers. So that's like the, uh, <laughs> oh, I guess I should fight because I have this fight with my charm. So right. I have 48 minutes left. I'm being kind of dallying, but here's three attacks hitting on sixes. No hits. All right. So, so then I flip the switch to him. Because now you definitely want to do that. So these guys are piling in. <clears throat> and they have two attacks each. And the huntsman has, um, what's it called? Three? He has three, yeah. Just a number. I don't do, I've been doing numbers all day. My head hurts. I don't want to do numbers no more. So, 13 attacks, hitting you on threes. I uh, know. Is there... There's three... Five, oh, one of them died. So, yeah. two, yeah, so... Yeah. Four guys and a hunter. So, yeah, so that's 11 attacks. Hitting on threes. Hitting on threes. We were rolling all hand. misses, but I didn't miss anything. Cool. And then wounding you on toughness five against... So, I'm wounding you on fives. Yeah. Rerolling ones because of the um, lieutenant. lieutenant. So far, I have gotten only one that can actually wound you. And that's cocked. And still only one. It's at minus one. So four of armor. Look at which this. Which is good because that means I don't have to look up the damage they do because I can't remember. Ah. Which I, th I think it's two. But I th yeah, All right. So that's my turn. So we'll just leave the clock on you. Okay. Um, I score, hold one, and kill one. Mm -hmm. uh, I hold more than you because I hold one, two, three. Mm hmm. Um, and we both killed one. Mm -hmm. So none of us get that. I do have recon, and I have old school for first blood. So you're up to turn two. Okie doke. All right, so now you can keep going. I'm just going to talk to the uh, sure. audience. But they like what's kind of going on here is that my clock, you know, I got 48 minutes left. So I burned through, you know, at an hour and 15 minutes, almost a half an hour in my first turn. But I've kind of set myself up, you know, I know... I am going to use that fall back and shoot, yeah, by the way. Yeah, uh, that's fine. My Wraith Knight is essentially out of the game because he's going to duck and weave away from him. He's got the mobility to avoid him, which is fine. It's not the end of the world. But if he wants to get into my area over here and come after my characters, he's going to need to commit to getting near my Wraith Knight. Um, but I've also set myself up to my next turn should be pretty quick because I'm just going to be... Uh, you know, kind of cleaning up what is left of his Dark Knights. You know, their their movement is only seven right now, so they're not going to be able to advance up the board, and I'm going to be able to push in on him. Um, this is kind of what the clock is meant to do. You know, it's meant to allow you to kind of take a little bit longer with your first turn. Some armies are very dependent on that, like uh, Chaos Cultist bombs and stuff like that, or their first turn takes quite a long time <laughs> because they're dropping a bunch of stuff down, they're measuring out nine inches to where they can go. <clears throat> when I'm playing against that kind of list, actually, my first turn goes pretty slow because I'm trying to ensure that I'm zoning out all the potential areas in my deployment zone where those cultists can come in. So um, I, this is kind of conventional wisdom, I think, but in, in you know, 8th um, edition, it's kind of just, look, it's your first turn takes half an hour maybe to play through. Um, if you're taking more than half an hour, you probably got you're gonna have some clock problems. But uh, you know, it is what it is at this point. I think I've set myself up to have quicker post uh, turns after this. Oh look, one of my way servants blew up. <laughs> Thunderhawk got me. So let's see, let's put Sammy. Um, hey, Adam here again, since I don't talk. It's too busy taking a nap. Uh, for those that, that are wondering, um, although we have two elite armies playing against each other, the plan is in the next week or two to have a horde army. Uh, probably orcs, because yeah. Jeff has his orcs that he's rebuilding. And uh, I guess we can use maybe my chaos with all the cultists. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two more two armies that that have a lot of models with them. That, that way you can see more how it would affect a, a horde army. Yeah, and I need to get some movement trays. <laughs> Actually, why I haven't done it because I need some movement trays because um, we'll also may or maybe use maybe we'll let Tom play his new Tau <gasps> instead. Maybe. <gasps> Yeah, we could do Tau versus Orc. That'd be actually a good matchup because they could see how many. Yeah, so remember this is blocked. Yeah. Mm, so yeah, no, I'm trying to measure the. Is it, is so, as long as I can see up there. Oh, yeah. you so can shoot. Expect at least yeah, one more. Yeah, I was them. Uh, featuring the clock with a more horde army. 
Um, that way, we can, bit, you, you, we can get a better uh, look at what how the clock would affect a horde army. Yeah, and I, I, my suspicion is that you know, if I got movement trays, I'm moving 120 orcs or something. It's not going to be terribly mm-hmm. too much. Oh, I forgot you had all those dudes. Oh, oh and no. deep strike. Huh. Welcome to the clubs. <laughs> 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 Here's my mistake. I should have taken an extra two minutes on my turn. I forgot I had all those death knights or dudes. So, oh well. They're just going to kill the wraith knight and then. Oh, let's gonna... see. It was like a uh, tempting bait. Yeah, there we go. Sure. So that's nine there. For those that don't know, um, myself and Alan Hernandez, uh, formerly from the 11th Company podcast, will be going to Nova. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to play in the 40k champs or not. Yeah, why wouldn't you? I don't know. Maybe I just want to look around for once. Yeah, I mean, it's, it'd be a different... Uh... I mean, I'll be there, like, basically all week, so... I'll have time to look around. I didn't get the Invitational for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Their mistake. Their, Their mistake. But, uh, so look for us uh, out there. Um, I am going to the Boise Cup GT. Uh, Tom, are you going to BAO? Mm, debatable. Probably not, because I'll be taking a lot of time off. One guy moved, just as a no. Tom is getting married, so we won't see a lot of Tom very soon after May. <laughs> no, that's not necessarily Why true. Why do you want him to move? Because I want him to be within six of Sammy. Oh, sure. Because I didn't measure Sammy correctly. You can just move him back. That's Jeff, BAO? Right, I'll do that. So. Yeah, no, I, I doubt it. Um, but you're going to I'm, SoCal. I'm going to SoCal. Okay. That's like I my out-of-town trip. Although, I, my wife did give me a pass to go to the... I'm going to a Team GT with Alan and Darian. No, next week. This week, next weekend coming up. Actually, this weekend coming up. Oh, this weekend coming up. In, uh, in Phoenix, which should be fun, I guess. Okay. Yeah, Phoenix is okay. <clears throat> Having Tom is going to marriage jail. <laughs> I'm in, you know, two kids and a wife jail. <laughs> have been for a while. So. And that is of your own making. That's true. I did have something to do with it. I remember those guys here. Yeah, no, I, I measured the, um, the nine. Oh, actually, I am I going I, to SoCal I I Open. I am going to Boise yeah, Cup. They can't, they can't uh, fit in there. I think someone's going with me this time. I'm hoping someone will. Alan can't go. Um, let's try. So, I'll give you this I one. may make the drive again for another 15 hours. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. Mm. Yeah, Boise, I don't know, man. That's uh, It was fun. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I, it, that's a long fucking drive, though. That's what I'm it is a 15-hour drive. drive. <laughs> yeah, we're driving to Phoenix at seven hours, and that's... Well, after Boise, I can do Phoenix in, like, yeah. like it's, it's like nothing. I've driven across the country many times I've, when I was younger. I've done that, too, when I helped my brother move. Yeah. How many taxis does your Wraithman have on the charge? He has four or five Not attacks. enough. Yeah, four or five attacks. He can stop for three extra attacks to go up to 12, I think. And uh, do the da- does any of the damage go through? It's just D3 damage or something like that. Okay. No, it wouldn't go through. Is there Any strength 10? I'll give you the stats. <clears throat> strength 8. Okay. Um, he has 12 inch movement. He has 4 attacks. If he attacks with his Ghost Glaive, it's strength 16, minus 4, 6, straight 6 damage. If he attacks with his um, feet, so strength 8, minus 2, D3 damage. But he makes 3 hit rolls for each attack he makes with the weapon. All right, all right, all right. Um, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to married guys talk made me feel better about my life choices. <laughs> You're welcome. Look at that. We're, we're handing out all kinds of goodness. That's what we're all about. What about feel good feelings here? See, now Tom is falling into my trap and acting like an idiot. Ah, oh, I forgot about you guys. Now he's going to put them off here in the corner where we can forget about them. It'll be great. Mm, here's me here at me bidding. Tom is bidding. I know. It's, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Talking shit. But see, notice I'm debating, so my clock is getting burned, but I've got a little bit of time to do that, because I, but I don't. Your army is going to either be dead by the end of 51 minutes or, you know. That's fair enough. I mean, just I, your army is small, so you or can afford mostly afford dead. <laughs> yeah, or yeah, mostly dead. Mostly dead. Um, now I'm going to go over here. Because... Fuck it. Don't forget about your your secondaries. You get no, I know. That's part of the reason why I'm coming over here. So nine inches from this guy is about here. Does your wraith not have any guns, Jeff? Hell no. And we're measuring from the hull of your of correct. Your... Yes, the the measurement is from the hull. So basically, at this point cool. here, okay, along that that edge. So you're gonna stick them all together then. You kind of have to with this list because um, what happens is you I I put them near. Um, you can just say they're on the night like 
yeah. between the wall. You got a nine inch charge. Yeah, I'll, uh, yeah. I'll say they're between the wall, but they're, they'll be visible to your scouts because I'm, edge, you know, I'm like on the edge sure. here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, well, plus I have to carry over here anyway. But yeah, the the thing is that the way the Death Knights work is they need to be near um, two people, um, specifically Belial and the Ancient, especially the Ancient, considering that he lets them re-roll the charge if I fail. And I I actually completely sympathize with your orc pain when I have that ability because it is incredible how many times you fail it. Yeah, no, nine inch charge with the reroll is not as a surefire thing. It's no, actually it's very not. hard. <laughs> it is not. I realize when you do the job, you're like, oh, here I am on you. I'm right up in your grill. I rolled, I yeah. had two units of berserkers with the banner that let you do that. Yeah. And I, so I rolled one, two, three, four. I rolled six charges, those two dread claws and, and two units, and I didn't make any one of them. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, and I, I couldn't. I rolled like a six and a one. I can't re-roll the one. Yeah, because I re-rolled it with the banner. Oh, I see. And so the second re-roll, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a drag. That's what that works. It's like, yeah. you know, you're kind of like when you roll like a six and a one. You're like, well, I guess I'm gonna use a command point re-roll. Actually, not my <laughs> yeah. free orc re-roll. Right. All right. So look at Bilal coming in for the kill. So here's what's going to happen up in here. Um, these guys moved. These guys did not. All right, so we'll start with these intercessors right here. They'll be taking pot shots at your guys out in the open over here. So that'll be five shots because they're not anywhere close to rapid fire. Uh, they're shooting at these guys? Yes. I will use Celestial Shield to give them a four pin bomb. Okay. Uh, what's their normal armor save? Five. Oh, really? Okay. Good. So I'm down to four command points. You have four too, right? I have two left okay. because intractable costs right, two. Right, right. So they're hitting you on fives, rerolling ones because of Sammy. Or they're hitting Why you they on uh, threes, rerolling ones. Yeah, I was like, what? I was copying you. You said five. I'm very impressionable at the moment. So uh. one miss and four hits. And then wounding you on threes. Ugh, no twos to reroll. So that is two wounds. Okay. I rolled two ones. So two dudes dead. Woo! And then, <clears throat> hmm. Do you have an ability that lets you fall back and shoot? Yes. It, there's two two points. Two points. I also it? fly. Well, no, that thing I get, but yeah. for infantry, I was curious. Yeah. Um, you can't charge me anyways. All those guys can charge. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. Um. I can hear Danny in my head. Focus, focus one target. Focus one target. Yeah, switching now. Yeah, I know. Uh, but I've, I now I have the four up invul, and you're more likely to kill these guys. Yeah, that's you know, true. I, I did. Involved, yeah, so. I did force you to pick something. All right, so the the raven uh, raven wing right here will fire their uh, laser beams at these guys right here. <clears throat> okay. So that is eight, uh, ten shots. Four, ten shots. six, and then ten. So hitting you on threes because they're able to fire normally. Rerolling all misses because of Sammy, all hit. Okay. And then wounding on two. Wounding on two. Rerolling ones because of the lieutenant. And that is another one. Okay. So that is ten. Oh, look at that. There's only eight of them. That's why you don't bring ten in an infantry squad, kids, because they're also give your opponents Reaper. That is a nice uh, side effect of Storm Guardians. <laughs> Um, Sammy is going to use his, uh, bolter, his hailfire bolter at you. I think that's what it's called. Sure. And his, um, his plasma cannon. So his hailfire bolter is going to be hitting you on, uh, hitting you on, uh, twos. And then wounding you on threes because you're toughness. And then reeling ones. So that's four. No AP. Two more did. Okay. Then he's got D3 plasma cannon shots. So he gets two. Sure. Hitting you on threes, rerolling ones only. There's a one. Two hits. Wounding you on twos, rerolling ones because of lieutenant. And that is two at minus three. Okay, I got a four up in model save. Made them both. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, heavy bolter from the dark shroud is going to be hitting you on uh, fours. Okay. Rerolling ones and twos. That is a one and a two. And then wounding you on threes, re-rolling ones, so three more. 
All right, guys. There we go. Three saves. Four pinball. Son of a bitch. All right, and then, <laughs> then the master crafted bolter from the lieutenant will be hitting you on a three up, rerolling every ones because of Sammy hits. Okay. Then when you want a three, one wound. Four pinball. Made it. Son of Sticking a bitch. Sticking old bones. Uh, so let's see. Shot. 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 Shots. Shots. Shot. Shots. Nice. These intercessors will be firing at your scouts in the building here. They're in rapid fire. Okay. So that'll be 10 shots. 4, 8, 9, 10. Minus 1 to hit because uh, they are rangers. They are indeed. So hitting you on 4s. Uh, 6 hits. Not bad. And then wounding you on Trace. So that is... Four. Four, minus one, so yep. four up saves because they have three up in cover. Uh, I lose three, which is the squad. What? You're making all those saves? I mean, it was on a different squad. All right. Um, let's see. The This guy, I don't think I'm in range of your back range reapers. Oh, so close, but no. So... To spite you, <laughs> uh, they'll fire at your Wraith Knight. So the Storm Bolter from the Ancient okay. will fire at your uh, Wraith Knight, hitting you on threes, rerolling everything because of Belial. So two hits, winning you on fives. Sixes. Sixes. Uh, toughness eight. Toughness eight, and Storm Bolters are four. That's right. So one wound. Uh, three Minus up armor three. save. Oh, four up armor save. So I failed. Uh, so I take a wound. I go down to 23. I'm going to double check that because I want to be sure. Are you might be more, you mean? No, it might be less. I might, I, I'm pretty sure it's minus one. Eight. I roll the two, it doesn't matter. Oh, <laughs> well, that's a fair point. But just for reference, Storm Bolter. Do, 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 do. Rapid Fire 2, there's no AP on it because I'm a dumbass. Okay, cool. All right, and then two from Belial at the same target, hitting you on twos. Both hit. Uh, wounding you on five, so there's a sixes, so there's one more. I have a save. Roll the one. So I go down to 22 wounds. Wishing I had fortune on me now. <laughs> <laughs> it's on this thing that you didn't shoot at. That's true. Oh, I shot enough of it. That was, the, that was what I was needing. All right, and then lastly... <clears throat> um, let's see. All right, the moment of truth. Nine inch charges. Nine inch charges. These Deathwing Knights will declare a charge against the Knight, or the, the thingy. Okay, uh, we'll shoot some Overwatch, I guess. Why not? Yep. So I have eight shots from the scatter laser. Uh, and this is a, we'll hit the clock here for Overwatch. And I'm hitting on six hits. Oh, wow, four hits. Damn. Strength six, toughness four or five? Uh, toughness four. Uh, three wounds, no AP. So that is two up armor saves. And then I'll roll my four uh, other shots from Enderslung. One hit, no wounds. So All just right. three. So three, two ups, we're good. Okay. So I need the clock back just to announce that for the nine, viewers. Well, nine is charge. Just want to show off Jeff's. And that is a 10. Cool. Eldar, ooh. There we go. Because I know they're harder to see on the battlefield. So I will go. Yeah, we need a hands-free camera, or a hand camera. Hand cam. Hand model. <laughs> you need a POV cam? A POV. I have one, but that's for other stuff. <laughs> I didn't say what it was for. What are you laughing at? That's why we were laughing. Because you left it vague. So those are just uh, an example of Jeff's expertly painted models. Oh, yeah. Expert. Yeah. And in contrast, I'll show Tom's models. Oh, thank you. Which are also expertly painted. <laughs> Screw you. I'll just say they're painted. All right, Belial will this need is <laughs> intercessor. Is that what? Why don't you? I can. Sh I can. Or you can just keep this guy here and then pile in later, like closer. Yeah. Because I get three inches. Jeff, yeah. you don't have the paint handle. It'd be easier to show off with the GW I don't. paint I handle thing. Uh, I get to reroll charges because of the ancient, and I don't make it with Belial. Here's here's the ghetto um, 360 view of Tom's. Uh, these will charge. Your dark scoots. Dark angel. Rangers. Yeah, your ranger scoots. I One hit. The action. No. 
All right, so they need nine. They don't get it. They get to reroll the charge. And they do get it. Nice, okay. Cool. Yes, John. Apparently, somebody's army gets a reroll if they're near somebody or something. So, yeah, he has the uh, Master Chas- Ancient, <coughs> and he's got the Master of Maneuver ability. Because he is your warlord. Yes. Is he going to make a charge? Uh, he probably... Actually, I don't want him to now that I think about it, so... Damn it. I want to go over there and stomp on him with my Wraith Knight. No, I will do something deviously clever instead. Yes, yes. Keep him out of line of sight, you mean? That too. Well, no, the, uh, well, Belly will be in line of sight. The Ancient won't be. Will, will, he'll be in line of sight. The Ancient yeah. won't be. Yeah. Um, okay, so pile, pile me. moves. <clears throat> yeah. So this guy will move three. three. I will it. choose not to interrupt at any point, just so you know. I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. Wait, no, so hold on, hold on, you're cheating. I am cheating. Oh, so you I'm activate cheating. one unit, oh, okay. and then completely resolve it. Okay, completely resolve it, sorry. Yes. I am still thinking in terms of something else. Try, uh, you're used to being playing Tau, so you can move this guy too if you want. Yeah. You want him for the range. Yeah, yeah, I'm keeping no, him back try specifically. Try something novel, called following the rules. <laughs> so if you want him to be within one inch of a model, you might, Yeah. he needs to do this. Yeah. So then, then I have to do that. So that way they're, they're... Oh, no, he won't... That won't work out because... Well, he, no, as long as they're within one inch of a model. Yeah, but the, this guy won't be able to fight, is what I'm saying. That's what... Oh, I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just thinking, I was thinking, trying to see how... So that is that is eight attacks from them. Okay. Um, because they get plus... Or, no, that's actually 12 attacks from them because they're within range of the Ancient. So I'll just... While you're rolling all these dice and killing my rangers, I'm going to note for the, the uh, viewers that this is the rule that I actually don't... I don't like this rule about... The clock is I could sh- like if we were playing a non-clock oh. game, I would just say I'm gonna pick out my rangers. Yeah, but I have no incentive to do that, and I think there needs to be a rule where, you know, well, look, I mean, you're as opponents, you're you can always make an agreement with your opponent to um, to pick up to pick up. Is those, those the wounds? Those are the wounds, and they're at minus three. Okay, there you go. So I'll pick up my rangers. <laughs> now, do I do this now, where I move three inches yes, towards the closest? Yes, you can it, yes. You completely resolve the unit you elected to activate first. So I will move the units as such towards the closest model, which is that. Sure, yeah. Now these will go here. This guy will go around. All right, so the same thing over here, except that your guy over here now. So six, ten. Am I counting? I can't count. Six, ten, and then one more. So that is twelve. All right. That hits in the camera probably. All right. Hitting you on threes. Rerolling all misses because of Belial. Okay. And then What's you the are strength. Of these maces you got. They are strength eight. Jesus. Oh, no, cool. so, so threes and wounds. Threes to wounds. And that is two, four, six, eight. And how many? Minus, um, minus three. So I need six of the armor. I make two, and I take six of those go through. I don't know how much damage they do. They are three damage each. Three damage each? Jeez. That's okay. why I love these guys. Okay. The so. Death Shroud Knight Death guy. So I have 12. Uh, you said like no three different factions in one turn. 12 feel no pains on a six, so I should hit the clock for this. Sorry. I save two of those, so I'm taking uh, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I go down to three wounds. Oh, damn. Oh, that's right, because they all go down one damage, right? No. No. I just have 13 wounds. He has 12 or 13, 13, 13 wounds. 13. You, you, uh, you did 12 to me, I yeah. saved two. Yeah. So then that's... Uh, uh, Wave Serpents aren't normal vehicles. No, I know that. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, no, no, that makes sense. I just was curious. I was like, dang. Wait, how many wounds did you do to me? I did, did 12. 2, 4, 6, 8. Which oh, okay. times you did eight wounds. Okay, so that's right. So that's right. So I saved two of them on sixes. Yeah. So that means there's six of them times three. Okay. So uh, six times three is eighteen, though. Mm-hmm. So actually, I, I, I didn't roll eighteen wounds. So I gotta roll six more. Yeah. I'm cheating. Uh, so I die. Mm-hmm. Let's see if I blow up. You're not. I was gonna say it didn't seem right. So I got uh, eight guys are gonna pile out in a spirit seer. So nine dudes. I'm just gonna roll the dice right now. This will give you. Uh, one, no one, so everyone gets out okay. Nice. Alright. Um, I think I can be outside of four inches of you if I deploy over here. Yeah, okay. So 
so I'm gonna be over here. Because you can move three inches outside of the vehicle? Yeah, you can deploy three inches out, so I'm gonna deploy it in a way so you cannot consolidate into me. Because I don't want you to. Oh, fuck. I just broke my beautiful wreath knife. It's okay. You break it? Just yeah, it's all right. It's, it's something that breaks all the time. No. <laughs> I actually knew a kid. And then I will use in here is high school. He's like, I've broken this bone so many times. It's like the strongest bone in my body. And I'm like, how? <laughs> He's like, when you break it, it fuses together so it's stronger. I was like, that is not entirely true. You clearly are not passing biology this year. All right. Uh, so then they can control it. Yes, they can. Here's your college roommate. No, this was in high school. So they will go like this. What's their vulnerable save? Three up. Strong shields like a bitch. And they have a stratagem called Fortress of Shields, which I means that I get to, you know, in the fight, the start of the fight phase, which is the annoying thing, because you declare targets at sure. the start of the fight phase too, so it's consecutive. Uh, they, uh, it's, they become minus one to wound in close combat. Do they have to be touching each other? Nope. Just not like, not like uh, Morty and Guard, no. Okay, cool. All right, um... Other done? actions, not mine. Yes, I am done. So you got, uh, kill one, and you hold one? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, kill one, hold one. And I should have kept the clock on for mine while we were scoring mine, Oh, so. it's okay, no, it's all good. Okay. Uh, big game hunter, uh, you didn't get any hunter. So just for the record, I, you killed, I, did, I got one big game hunter because yeah. of the waste of, yeah. You killed one unit, two units, units three, three units, units, right? Yes, I've killed three units. Are you units, a morale right. here? I'm leadership seven. I can only lose one model because of the end in. <laughs> You're fine. Four guys, I'm good. Someone okay. wants to know if Tom, when you said your high school guy, was it last week in high school? <laughs> was my last? I know I have a youthful visage. <laughs> Who said that? All right, I'm gonna start looking in here. Now, don't, you play your game. Team beer hammer. So the, Whoever this, you are. This guy is going to walk over here and be one inch away from both units mm -hmm. because if he's not gonna fight, what's he gonna do? Uh, you stop taking my inceptors and putting them. I'm not going to take this game. Okay, yeah, that's right. So I can be. <coughs> They're actually not as well. And then three inches here and outside of one inch of you. Okay. To control that objective with my objective secured, homies. You son of a bitch. What is this guy, Tom? That is a uh, Ravenwing Black Knight, <coughs> which I painted before I realized I could do better shading on black. Oh, so it's perfect. And Jeff, you just started your turn too? Yes, correct. Yeah. A warlock will our next warlock is a, there. What is he? A Ravenwing Black Knight? Ravenwing Black Knight, yes. So you have two command points left? I have two command points left. Yeah. And that's the weapon he came with. Uh, that one I probably kit bashed. Yeah, I don't remember them having a hammer with a spike on the end. No, that, well, that is definitely a Corvus hammer, but okay. that was one of the dark. So here are my. Uh, so this guy can still move on. normally because oh. he is uh, only. He's not even injured, but. N not he is by a hand. And, so he'll go then one there. My spirit seer here will walk over seven. Getting out of line of sight. This thing will. Um, <coughs> hmm. I'm gonna advance this unit here. One fucking inch. All right, great. Good job, guys. I know there's a stratagem for that, but. I don't want to use it. It's Eldar. We'll keep painting it. So everything's out of six. Okay. Uh, let us do this then. Let's move here. One inch away. And since I'm going to do that, I'm going to run seven over here. In advance. Six. Okay. And top of that object. Okay, uh, Dark Reapers over here now have targets. That's cool. Um, they're going to move anyways because they're going to just start moving towards this objective. Because my Farseer will probably move off it sooner than later. These guys have good line of sight, good line of sight. And I'm going to be getting recon with the Wraith Knight and potentially this guy here actually over there. Just in case. Yeah, even if the Wraith Knight... And this guy's there too, actually. So yeah. I got someone in each quarter. You will. Uh, I need to get some, start getting some headhunter points. So let's see if we can to. do that. I don't have more snipers except this guy. That's okay. I'm used to having ill with knights here on my list. I'm like, oh, why don't I have any more snipers? Okay, <laughs> let's do the psychic phase. Um, this guy will start off with smite on okay. uh, those intercessors. 
He gets a seven, goes off for two mortal wounds. So one guy's broke. Um, this guy, what do I want to do with him? I think I actually want to, they did not advance, so they don't have an invulnerable save, right? No, but they have the minus one. Sure, okay. Um, I want to, this guy is going to protect this guardian squad. Goes off, does not go off on a five, so he fails. Um, this guy will class quicken on this guardian squad here. Uh, goes off on a seven. That's a move again. <coughs> move again, yep. Yeah. And so they're gonna uh, advance as part of that move. So they go tw uh, seven, 12 inches. So they'll walk over here to be within three inches of that objective with their objective secured and be in melt the range of your black knights. Of everything. Of everything, yeah, uh, that too. Um, and my first hero is gonna cast fortune on the Wraith Knight. Uh, seven, which I believe it goes, I don't usually take this power, but let me check. I think most of the stuff in the discipline is seven. It is seven. Okay, so he has a five up, feel no pain. And then I will doom uh, this Black Knight squad. Seven goes off. Okay. So I got some dooms and Doom. some fortunes. Okay. And. Oh, and these guys no longer have this condition. Yeah. Okay, so that's my psychic phase done. I got 40 minutes on the clock. I'm still looking pretty. Let's do some shooting. So I'm gonna, uh, over here, fire two melted guns into this unit, okay. five pistols and a, and a grenade. So the grenade gets uh, five shots. Hitting on threes. And your toughness four? Four. So wounding on fours. Uh, that is two, but you're doomed. Let's see if I can remember this time. Three wounds at minus one. So three ups either way. Cool. So I failed one. Cool. What's there anything? Just one damage. Okay. You got two wounds each? Yep. All right, so then five pistol shots. Uh, three hits. Ooh, there we go. Uh, so two at minus three and one regular save. All right, so two at minus three are good uh, and one regular okay. is good. Should have probably shot the melting guns first, but that's my error. Uh, melting guns both hit. Uh, two's a wound, three rolls, so two wounds at minus four. So these are three up intervals as well, and they're both good. Cool. Didn't matter, my error was not a big deal. <laughs> was negated. Uh, this guy will shoot his pistol. The spirit series already <laughs> misses. Uh, that spirit series will shoot his pistols at the intercess interse intercessor. intercessors. Yeah, one hit. No wounds. Okay. Uh, those guys are going to fire into the Black Knights. Okay. Uh, a grenade, one pistol, and two melted guns. Okay. So here's the uh, uh, melted guns. One hit. Uh, three to wound. No. Uh, grenade gets four shots. Hitting on threes, three hits. Wounding on fives, because your toughness five. Two wounds at minus one. Okay, two wounds at minus one. That is four ups. One takes a wound, so that'll be this bike. Okay, and then one pistol left at you. One hit. No wounds. Um, I will shoot with the wave serpent there. I will fire my crack missiles at the yeah crack missiles at the black knights and the underslung too. Here's the underslung. Mm -hmm. uh, those are three hits. No wounds. Two crack missiles. <coughs> one hit. Uh, one wound. Because strength eight. Okay. Uh, and minus minus two. Minus two. So five up. Nope, and damage is... Four damage. So that's another bike. Okay. Uh, let's do some Dark Reapers. Uh, I'll do two crack shots into the Black Knight and the Tempest Launcher into those Intercessors. Okay. Actually, first, this one will shoot its um, crack missiles and underslung into the Intercessors. All right. So let's do the underslung. Two hits. Uh, wounding on fours. <clears throat> one wound, no AP. So two up armor save, because in cover. Yeah. Good. And two, D uh, two crack missiles. Uh, one hit. I'm hitting on, uh, by, by the way, everyone, I'm hitting in, uh, on threes when I move and fire heavy weapon because I have crystal targeting matrix. So as long as I shoot at the closest enemy unit, I can ignore the moving uh, and shooting penalty for heavy weapons. Wounding on twos because strength eight. One wound at minus two. So that puts me to a four up, which I make. Good. Okay, and then, so then this will be the two crack shots into the um, uh, Black Knights and then the Tempest Launcher over there. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is into those guys. Uh, one hit. One wound, minus okay. two. 
So Black Knights need a five up. Uh, I need, what's the damage on it? Three damage. That's fine. Okay. And then 2d6 shots of the Intercessors. Ooh, 11. There we go. Son of a bitch. Yeah, and this is why they're good, because sometimes you just roll hot. Hella good. Yeah. But they're really the one of the few horde, the, anti-horde options. That, and these are minus one to hit. Uh, I always hit on threes. Oh, right, with the Dark Reaper. So I probably should have mentioned that when you were shooting with your other stuff, but I think we remembered that anyway. On um, these guys, I did not, no. It doesn't matter, because I don't think you did yeah. anything. But these guys, yeah. These guys are shooting at those guys anyways. Mm. Um, so four is the wound, because it's strength four. Ooh, look at that. That's fucking good. So uh, that's seven wounds at minus two. Seven wounds at minus two. Okay. Four up armor. So, yep. So the first... Five, six, seven. So that is one, two, three, four that got through. So that's two. Cool. And then um, this squad will do the same thing. Two crack missiles into the Black Knights. Get on threes. Two ones. All right. And then 2d6 shots into those intercessors. Seven shots. Hitting on threes, re-rolling ones because he's an XR. I rolled four ones. And I convert all four. That's Damn. Nice. Uh, four is the wound. Uh, that is three wounds, good sir. Four ups? Yes. And I make all but one, so one wound. Uh, this Dark Reaper squad will fire... We killed three things. I need to kill that squad. It's going to fire its Tempest Launcher into that squad and two crack missiles into... Uh, no, actually, two double shot missiles into the... Um, uh, those knights over there. Okay. So I'll do those first. Those four shots are strength five. Hitting on threes. It doesn't reroll anything. Wounding on threes. Nothing. Oh, but you're doomed. One wound at minus two. So three up armor for invul. Uh, that fails, so one knight is dead. Okay. Two damage to him. And then 2d6 shots into those intercessors over there. Eight shots. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And um, these are hitting on threes, rerolling ones. Ooh, there we go. And then wounding on green was a two. Was it? Mm. Uh, so that's four wounds at minus two. And these are on the intercessors? Yes. Or these ones? I can't remember. These ones. These, these, okay. The ones that I want to try So that would be fours. And that's it. That's the squad. Cool. That's uh, Solberg. No. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Oh, God. I just got PTSD. Now my Autark, who can snipe. I mean, depending whether he, I think he's just gonna shoot into those knights. Given the the lower man squad of knights. Yeah, the doom squad. Even though he could shoot a character, I think I'm just gonna. I have what four command points still. I believe so. Yeah. And I only have two. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he'll just fire into that squad to give my wraith knight a little extra work. Yeah. So two shots. He's gonna shoot the uh, strength five double shot. Hitting on twos, both hit, and wounding on threes. With doom, two wounds at minus two. Okay, on the knights, that is three up still, and I make both. Cool. Okay, so all three of my Dark Reaper squads shot, both my Guardian squad shot. Um, all right, so let's declare some charges. First, I will declare a charge on um, your Black Knights with my Wave Serpent. Okay. So they will get four shots. Okay. Hitting on sixes, rerolling everything because of uh, Sammy. And that is a big flapping nothing. Well, charge distance is 11 inches. So I'm going to position myself about here, one inch away from you. I think he'll be able to pile in, but not Sammy. Not Sammy will not be, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then my Wraith Knight will declare a charge on... Uh... You know, I think I'll just go for, let's see. I've killed one unit. And that's one unit of, there. It's kind of it. I need to kill more than you, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, I killed three last turn. You time. killed three, yeah. I was keeping track. Um, you will out objective me again this turn, though. So that's yeah, I'm going to out objective you. I'm going to actually just declare a charge on this unit. Okay. Um, let me see. I got to see. Um, actually, let me see when the uh, when my uh, psychotrope of Ian inactivates. That one does. That's, that's going to double my amount of attacks. <clears throat> it is... It's sort of fight phase, okay? And when do I use my... I hope I didn't pass up my time to use my reroll thing. Which I may have. Guided Ray Sight. 
It's only a turn. Yes, I fucked it up. Oh, he wasn't on the battlefield anyway. So no, he wasn't. Oh well. Say la vie. Okay, this is what happens when you use a different craft world that you're not used to all their special rules. Hey man, I didn't think to ask about the Dark Shroud until you were firing your Dark Reapers. So. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're so all learning a little bit about ourselves today. He is going to he'll get eight attacks of the sword. <laughs> D three about personal growth. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're about here at TFG. So I'm still on my clock. I want to see how much damage I do with my feet, and <clears throat> I do D three with my feet. So I actually think I'm probably better off with my feet. Just gonna do some either step downs and yeah. So I'll get 12, 24 attacks. Jeez. Wounding on twos, hitting on threes with no rerolls, that was a problem. Okay. Uh, I'll declare charge on both of them. Let's just go balls deep. Let's okay. go balls deep in those terminators. Okay. We don't have any overwatch, so eight. I mm -hmm. get in. Uh, here I come. Uh, all right, so let us do some combats. Start of the fight phase, they'll get Fortress of Shields. And at the start of the fight phase, I will activate my Psychotrope of Eandon to give my Raiden Knight double the amount of attacks on his character. So he has eight attacks now. Um, let's... Uh, I'll start over there. So he will put... What is Fortress of Shield with you? It makes it so his Wraith Knight is minus one to wound me. So he needs... Instead of wounding me on twos, he's wounding me on threes. Yeah, so... Um, he's hitting on threes, wounding on threes, so I'll go down to... 16 hits, about um, 11, 10 or 11 wounds, and then you'll save three of those. So I need it. All, all my attacks on the four-man squad, even though they're... Uh, actually, I, I think I'll... You're doomed. It's probably the same. I'll do it all on the, on the four-man squad. Okay. So here's 5, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20... Because feet turn all your attacks into... Yes, each attack becomes uh, three attacks. Mm -hmm. And since I have eight attacks now... Yeah. And the damage is D3. Yes, and minus two. Um, the sword would be good if you were like a vehicle or something, but since you have an invuln save and it's just straight six damage, it's not, not really worth it. No, it, it, it makes sense. Um, hitting on threes, wounding on threes with three rolls because of doom. And if I had remembered to use my guided wraith sight, I could re-roll these ones and twos. Well, of which I got eight, which many. was the average actually. Um, and then I need threes with rerolls for the doom. Normally twos, but because of your Fortress of Shields. Well, it actually, Fortress of Shields, if you picked up any twos, only applies to this unit. If you're directing all your attacks at this unit, it doesn't apply to both squads. Oh, you use it on that squad? Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> that's why you chose, the, that's why I thought you chose only oh. the four-man squad. So that was one, two. Yeah. Okay. So that, only, yeah. No, I thought a, you did it on the four-man squad. It's a, it's a single, yeah. it's a single unit, yeah. Uh, so that is 15 wounds. Oh well, yeah, I would have, yeah. Oh, oh, well. So 15, oh yeah. All right, 15 so. 15 three-ups. 15 three-ups. Come on, babies. So let's see if it matters with 10. That is three failures. Okay. And then the last five is one, so a total of four failures. Okay, so here's the first one does two damage kills a guy, second one does three damage kills a guy, third one does two damage and kills a guy, and the fourth one does two damage and kills a guy. So that's just the whole squad. All right, well, there you go. It actually was worked out just right. Wasn't sure about the math on it, actually, about how uh, how it would work out, but it worked out pretty dang good. Um, and then I assume you're not gonna interrupt, but I'll do my three attacks from my uh, you want to heroically intervene, right? right? Yes. So that would happen at the beginning of the yeah. phase. So he's going to heroically intervene. During the charge phase, technically. Yeah. Yeah. At the end, after he wins, he's yeah. So okay. I have three attacks for my wave serpent. I'll attack uh, your black knights, because that's who I declared a charge on. No hits. That's yeah. all my attacks, and you're up for your turn. All right, so my lieutenant, double checking his attacks, is, I believe it's just three attacks. Why you should know your rules? I know. Clock. Well, but this is but this is good because now I can show you how to be fast while you're. This is all for the purposes of educating the masses, isn't it? <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he's got three attacks. He's weapon skill two, but he's got a thunder hammer, so he's winning you on threes. <laughs> Hitting on threes. Yeah. Hitting on threes. So three attacks. Rerolling ones because of Sammy. So two hits, and then he is strength. Eight. Okay. So when you want threes, you're rolling ones because of himself. Okay. So two at minus three. Okay, so six. None. And three damage each, right? Yes. So six, feel no pains. I take five damage, you go down to eight wounds. And then your black knights, and then you can move along with whoever you want. Yes. So now my black knights pile in, but if I pile in closer to these guys, I can attack them, correct? Yes. Correct. Okay. 
So I am going to do... You said the end closer to my wave serpent. That's true. You know, I think I'll just direct... <coughs> so I'll just move here and here. Okay. Not right. being within one inch of those guys. Yes, not being within one inch of them on purpose, actually. You're afraid of them, eh? Yes. They do have two chainsaws in that squad. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> I will, uh, they'll have, uh, they have two attack, one guy's got two attacks, the last guy, the Huntsman, has a third attack, so five total, hitting you on threes, rerolling all misses because of Sammy, so all hits, and then these are wounding you on fives, rerolling ones, and this is what the Corpus Hammer does, six does d3 wounds instead of one, so six to wound. And I don't get a six to wound, but I have one, two, three wounds on you at minus one. Okay, so four up armor save. I pass two, and I take what, one damage? One damage each, yeah. Uh, D6 to ignore it, or six to ignore it, sorry. And I do ignore it. You son of a bitch. I say, hey, I got spirit stones. And then your knights over there, your bros. Okay, so my knights over here will pile in. Making sure to keep this chain. Sure. So four of them can attack. So four of them can attack. The last guy in back cannot. So that is three. That is twelve attacks total. Do they get plus one attack always? If or they're within they, six, or when they charge, it's within when they're within okay. six of the ancient. Cool. So that's his banner. So these are hitting you on three. Three rolling all misses because of Sammy and things. Don't get a minus one to hit. Um. Why? No. No. They're oh, because Mace has solution. No. Okay. It's a better thunder hammer. Sweet. Um. So two misses, and then these are wounding you on uh, threes. You have strength eight? Yes. And toughness eight. So, so fours. So that is three, four, five. And let me double check the AP on these. Sure. Mace of Absolution. Jeff, what turn are you on? We are on turn two. Bottom so, yeah. two? Bottom two, yeah. It's, it's, it's gonna get really This is how fast. I find that the games go. When, when I've played a few on the clock now, mm -hmm. and it's, you know, you get down. Minus two. Minus two, okay. So five up saves and vulnerable saves. Five of them. Uh, I fail three. And that so, is nine damage. Okay. Uh, and I have five up, feel no pain. Because of fortune. One, two, three. Arc dice, so I take six damage and I go down to tw I'm at 22, so I go down to uh, eight. 16. Oh, tw oh, you're at 22. Yeah. I'm sorry. 16. I saw the 20 on the die. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <sighs> okay. So you're on. Uh, so let's see. For kills, I killed one, two. Mm -hmm. they, you don't owe me a leadership over there, do you? No, they're, okay. they're fearless. One, two. Okay, so you got more kills than me. Um, but I hold more than you because I hold one, two, three, four. Actually, I hold all four, right? So I get the bonus because those guys are within three. These guys are objective secured within mm -hmm. three. So I get a bonus point. I held one. I kill one. I hold more than you. Um, I have recon. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, you were up. Good serve for turn three. Okay. 30 minutes on the clock. Not a bad timing position to be in for your army. No, it's not. And especially because I've got, I mean, for me, it's I've got fewer models to use, so. Yeah. And this is the interesting thing, just to commentate, is I find that, like, you know, even the small elite armies are taking, you know, just as much time as the big horde armies. Um, I played uh, Nikhil, one of our local players, the other day, and he had a big, big horde army with two big blobs of cultists and a lot of melee. So he didn't have much shooting was the thing. So he spent all his time um, on the clock moving and then doing a little bit of shooting here and there, but mainly it was shooting. And he did use the dice app, so that was very helpful for him. All right, and he is within six. This intercessor to stay put. Belial is gonna move five in this direction. And the ancient is gonna move five in this direction. Um, so you're down to one command point, right? I am down to one command point, yes. Um, so the intercessors are going to open fire on your bros here. Sure. So that is six. Um, hold on. I am going to use Celestial Shield for, uh, give him a four pin bone. Okay. So I'm down to three. Damn, that's only one. That's pretty good. Uh, so that's ten shots. 
Hitting you on threes, re-rolling ones because they didn't move. Cool. So two misses, three misses, three ones. And then wounding you on threes, re-rolling ones because of the lieutenant. Anybody that's curious, this is what Tom... Um, Four or five. five. What are your knights called? Deathwing Death knights. Deathwing knights. Death knights. Whatever. Four of them all. Uh, two dead. Deathwing knights. Mm-hmm. Okay. Get a three sixty zero. Um... They're not finished, right, Tom? Uh, the only thing I haven't finished is their faces. Okay. I could do more detail work on their shields, but I do not feel like doing that. Aww. Um, Remember they're performing. <laughs> on to the game. Uh, three heavy bolter oh, shots is... from here. <laughs> okay. So hitting them on fours because he moved. We're rolling ones and twos because of Sammy. Uh, all hits. Needing threes to wound. And I am... Measure from the base on that guy. Uh, I believe he does measure from the base, yes. So he is out. So that is only one. Four and one. One melt the gun dead. All right. Um, Sammy is going to fire. Oh, well, that's from the hole, isn't it? Damn. Well, I know what I'm going to do then. Um, Sammy is going to fire everything he has here at that thing. So his Super Storm Bolter has eight shots right now. Yeah. Hitting you on threes, you're rolling ones. All hits. And then wounding you on fives. Sure. So that is one, two, three, four, five. Damn, Sammy. Uh, any AB? Nope. So three up armor. Fail one, six up, feel no pain. I take a wound. I have eight wounds. Okay. All right, and then... Let's John, see. you don't stop the clock with ten minutes left in each. You just play the last, play it as the last turn. Yeah, that's how I understand it. Um, then he gets D three melt or D three plasma cannon shots. He gets three, and he's going to be hitting you on threes, rolling ones. So that is nothing. And then he is wounding you on strength seven, so you've wounding you on fours. <laughs> so that is one at minus three. So six up armor. Me. Although they That's have one been damage. thinking about dropping it to five minutes instead of ten. That makes me sad. I'm just saying what it could have done. Um, cool. All right, and then um, Storm Bolter from the Ancients is going to fire at these guys back here. Sure. Hitting you on ooh, re rolling. Does he next to Belial? Still pretty terrible. And then one wound. Okay. Um, they no. fail protect, so they just have a five up, five up save, so one guy dies. I will remove this guy. Alright, and then Belial is going to attack, re-rolling. Not wow. that. Yeah, just, There's yeah. a giant table with a I know. border around. Yeah. Why are you so mean, man? Two? I'm just Two. stating the fact. I'm just Two more. I'm, just, I'm here to find the truth. One. Truth is relative. Two. Wow, that's spoken like a true Imperium player. Um, let's see. <clears throat> All right, so now it's down to charges. Um, Belial is going to charge your knight. Okay, I'm not me. So he is going to move ten. So I'm gonna put him. Right here. Okay. So he's still outside of that. Oh, wait, he's within one inch. He is within one inch of your knight, but not touching. The whole point is yeah. that I'm intending to rotate and satellite in and get your guys into combat. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Um, then Ancient's also going to charge. He makes it in. I don't care as much about that. He's going to go here. And then, let's see. Um, at the start of the phase, I'm going to give the Deathwing Knights my last command point for the last Fortress of Shields. So that only applies to the Knights. Um, and then striking first, I, cho I choose you. Uh, Belial will go first. And he has four plus one attack, I believe. And Jeff's nightmare repeat itself. That's what I'm it. trying to hope for. So he gets four attacks normally, five because he has himself next to the Ancients. So hitting you on twos, he hits all of them. And his strength doesn't matter because unless you're a vehicle, which I don't think that is, 
Uh, not, I'm a wraith construct. So he is wounding you on twos. Ooh, this is why he punked me last time. <laughs> and ooh, do I want to? I can't reroll that one. So are you at nine points? Yeah, he, does, he doesn't get any rerolls cool. of wounds. So four, four, four. four at minus uh, three. Okay, so five up in one. Make, make one. How much damage do you need? They are two each. So six damage. I have a five up. Feel no pain. Of which I make two, so I take four and I go down to 12 wounds, uh, which would degrade me normally, but because I'm a Yandin, I count as having 24 wounds still. So I'm in my full, pro- full, full, full profile. Um, can you tell me the Ancient what his um, invulnerable save is? It is a five, but he's also at minus one to hit, because he's got the... Um, Try the hero. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, how many wounds does he have? He has... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll punch the clock while I'm asking you these questions. Oh, no worries. He has uh, five wounds. Five wounds. Five up in vulnerable save. Mm-hmm. That's four. Okay, I'm going to interrupt. Okay. And I'm going to put uh, my four attacks right now. Uh, I'm going to put all four on your uh, ancient warlord, because okay. that's a uh, warlord point. Mm-hmm. So I'm hitting on uh, using threes the sword? normally. Yes, using the big sword. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm hitting on threes normally, uh, down to four. I hit with all four. God damn. And it's strength 16, so I'm winning on twos. Uh, four wounds. All right, so four or five ups. All right. A little overkill, I think, but that's okay. So, so, you kill the agent? Yeah, and that's six damage each, so one so, foul I go. So I passed two and failed two. So you take 12 damage. Just instantly. Yes. Yeah. Six Boom! Damage. It's a straight six. Oh, it's a straight six. Oh, damn. Six damage each. Yeah. All right, so you got a Warlord point and a Headhunter. Yeah. And that reduces the attacks on those guys, too. Mm-hmm. And carry on. All right, well, that, that made me sad on the feelings. Um, I'll get Belial next time. I'm ready <laughs> He's going to fuck that motherfucker up. So they're rotating around. All right, so the core not dead. He might be. <laughs> well, that's kind of what I'm hoping to do here. If I can get that, at least that'll be a victory. So the regular, the maces of absolution are hitting on threes, rerolling misses because of Belial. Ah. So one miss, sure. and then these are wounding you on toughness seven or stress uh, eight. eight. Eight, so fours, uh, and that is three. Three. Uh, and minus two. Five up in vulnerable save. I make one, and they're two, three damage each? Yeah, three damage each. Okay, so there's six damage. I have a five up skill and thing. Of which I make four. So I go down to ten wounds. Damn. He is a beast, tanking some motherfucking shit. All right. Um, on with your combats. Then the Flail of the Unforgiven. Do you want to charge here? I did want to charge there. I That's totally fine. forgot go that. <laughs> it's all good. I'll charge you there. Are you charging him? Uh, what? Oh, <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Uh, so he needs something decent. Yeah, he'll make it in there. Cool. Um, yeah, so shoot. he fights then. Yeah, so then he fights next. Sammy has five attacks. And... So it was a tournament game, I wouldn't let you do that shit. No, I know. I know. This is a friendly reminder that I'm still bad at Dark Angels. Um, I think it's like my eighth game with them. Uh, it's interesting because the chess clock really makes you, like... For, oh my god, yeah. It has a lot of... It has an element of stress to the game, that's for sure. Hitting on twos, re-rolling every hit because he's a raven wing, yep. so all hits. And then the raven sword, he, your toughness is... I'm toughness three. Toughness three, so fives, and I still need threes. Um, so that is three at minus three. Four up and vulnerable save, baby. Actually, I'm dead. But let me make sure they... You know, I've never, <laughs> I, I don't usually use spirits here, but I think they have a four up and vulnerable save. Uh, the answer is yes, they do. And they have four wounds. How much wounds? I take... They're six. They're two, two, two wounds each. Okay, so I'm dead. Cool. And then uh, he would pile in towards the closest um, model, so he'll just come closer to your... You want to engage him? Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're gonna hit me on sixes. I don't give a shit. Oh my god, you got two, two. hits. Strength seven, <laughs> one wound. All right, I need a three up armor save. Fucking make it. Ah, uh, damn. Um, but we didn't do the flail on this guy, so that was when you reminded me about Sammy. So the flail for him is what? Th- this guy. The, oh, you didn't attack with any of those guys? I, no, I attacked with all of them except him. Oh, okay. he has a different weapon profile. Okay, cool. Um, which I always forget because I usually use him to stay in the back. Um, he has three attacks, and he is wounding, he's hitting you on threes, 
re-rolling all misses because of Belial, and then wounding you on fives because we're even close. One at minus three. Okay, five and one there. Stuck it with the six. Son of a bitch. All right, and then we're on to normal combats that haven't been charged. Yeah. Uh, I will choose this this guy over here. Sure. To attack there, he's got. Uh, three. I, I definitely attacked that order over there. That oh yeah, yeah. Fun. No, yeah. So you so that happened. Then this over here, he'll attack the sure. thingy. The wave uh, serpent. I am losing all control of my verbal linguistics. Does he hit on twos normally? Lieutenant? Hits on twos. Yeah, Lieutenant with normally hits on twos and with weapon skill two. And then okay. with a thunder right. hammer, he's hitting on threes. Cool. When you go on threes, you're rolling ones because of himself. So three at minus three. Okay, so sixes. Failed all of them. And then three damage each. Yep. This could do it. I need to make two sixes. Struggle none. None. See if I blow up? No, I don't. There's a big game hunter point for you, sir. And then he will pile in. These guys will pile in. Okay. Because it is their turn, and they're going to fight that last bro. Yeah, well, I'll fight first one. Right, yes. One attack, baby. Oh, no, I, I wouldn't. I'm not in one inch yet, so I'll attack after you. Why would you go next? Because I wasn't within one inch of you. When oh, you, when, when, that, when the phase started. <laughs> okay. When it was my turn to activate a unit. Oh, okay. So, um, so that's five attacks total. Okay. They're hitting you on threes. No rerolls because Sammy, Sammy ain't around no more. And then wounding you on threes. So and rerolling ones because the lieutenant. So that's three wounds at minus one. Ooh, I got six wounds. Oh, look at that. My one guardian did not stand up to those dudes. Boo. I want a refund. <laughs> Uh, and that is my turn. I hold an objective. And I'm uh, morale here. I lost one, two, three, four, three guys. So eight. So I lose one guy, which is the maximum I can lose anyway. So let's just kill that guy. Okay. Um, so you killed one and you hold one. Mm -hmm. You got a point for headhunter over there. I did. You got a point for big game hunter. <coughs> You killed, uh, just for the record, you killed one, two, three things? Mm hmm. Three things, okay. I have more things than you. Alright, so let's clock it over. Okay, so I have one command point left, and I need to I need to get some dudes into your infield, and I need to kill that guy. How many wounds does Samuel have? <coughs> he has six. Six wounds, okay. That'll be tough to do, but it is doable. Okay. So I will fall back in combat into your deployment zone. Cowardly Eldar. Yes, sir. I'll actually just do that. So I think I am out of line of sight, but I'm in your deployment zone. Um, all right. Dark Reapers need to kill the rest of these bike dudes. Just getting into firing arcs here. These ones will move five. They still suffer penalties for moving and shooting heavy weapons. I don't yeah, know. Always hit on threes. Always. God damn. Farseer, we'll see if he can join the party over here. Party over. Um, storm guardians. You, did you want to allow the lock the storm guardians? I yeah, but I I made that mistake. I okay. mean, it's I just I can't keep <laughs> even in a friendly game. I keep can't keep making mistakes. Um, I I play Tau normally. I want to go back to Tau. <laughs> Give me a week. All right. I don't know what close combat is. Yeah, I'm scared. And these guys have to reestablish coherency. They don't really have anything to shoot at, so but they will back up over here. Oh, that's a different guy. He will actually move here. These guys will kind of shimmy over here. Okay. Okay, Wraith Knight. What you gonna do? So I got a. St I need right now. You hold one, <laughs> one objective. I hold that one, so I can get off this objective. All right. So let's move over here and try and kill Samuel with some magic powers. Magic. Uh. All right. So let's go into the uh, shooting phase or psychic phase. So I'll cast Smite on Samuel over here. Goes off on a seven for one mortal wound. So he's down to five. Okay. And I'm gonna cast Fortune on the Wraith Knight. Fails on a five. I'll use my runes of the Farseer to reroll those. 
goes off on an 11. So he is fortuned, and then I will... I'm actually going to smite... I'm going to smite with this guy first. Goes off on a 7, goes down to 6, so it goes off, and this is closest guy's Bilal. He will take 3 mortal wounds. Damn, so he is down to 3. And then my Farseer will cast smite as well. Uh, rolling a 10, minus 2 is goes to an 8, uh, so it goes off. D3 mortal wounds for 3. So he's dead. He dicks. <laughs> Capture master or whatever. No, he's not Jeff. He's a company master. He's the, thing. yeah. Com- <laughs> I don't know. First company master. I feel master. bad because the Raid Knight didn't get to slice him with his sword. You know what? Yeah, that's, okay. that's that's just, you know what? You'll live this game and just think back and be like, you know, what could have happened? What and that happen? will be the moral victory for me. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Because I clearly cannot take anywhere else because I am terrible at Dark Angels. All right, so I'm going to discharge my Serpent Shield into Samuel. It goes off on a uh, two up and then does D3 Mortal Wounds. Two Mortal Wounds into Samuel. So he's down to Trace. Okay. Um, he will then fire his Crack Missiles into that pool. Both hit. Strength eight. One wound. Okay. Minus two. So he's got his four up and full save. Sure. Which he makes. Oh shit. And then four underslung shirt and catapult shots. Rolling four ones. All right. There we go. I'll shoot a pistol from my uh, spirits here. Hits. Wounds at minus three. Okay. So, so four up and I'm roll the six. He's good. Cool. Um, all right. Let's shoot these dark reapers at things. So this guy, where would you say the roof is here? Like up here? I would say at the plane would be... Right here. Okay, let me see. I don't think I can see Samuel. All right. So, um, Dark Reapers will fire the temp. Actually, all these guys will shoot at, at Samuel because they're the closest guy. Mm-hmm. I'll shoot the two crack missiles. Uh, one hit. No wounds. I want to reroll that. Gotta kill Samuel. I'm gonna fuck my shit up. I have one command point left, you say. Hmm. I'm gonna see if who's closer to this guy, if it's the Dark Shroud or the Samuel. So what's that about, uh, to the base? About 18 and a half inches or so? That is, 19 inches? That is 19 inches. Okay, and here, it's over 19. It sure. is 19 plus. Okay, cool. So I will re-roll that Circles uh, with fine. my last command point. Rolling a two. Fuck you, world. <laughs> Alright. Um, out of command points. Uh, okay, so Tempest Launcher to Samuel. Eight shots. Sitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Of which I get none. I hit it with everything now. Uh, what's his toughness? His toughness is five. So five's the wound. Uh, two wounds at minus two. So four of invuls again. <laughs> And he makes both. Damn, like a boss. <laughs> All right, this Dark Reaper squad will fire uh, the Tempest Launcher into the Black Knights and the two Crack Missiles into the um, Dark Tribe. Mm-hmm. So Crack Missiles first, both hit. And uh, wounding on threes, because you're toughness six or something? Toughness five. Five? Oh, geez, what a little butt of bitch. This oh, thing? no, this thing is six. Yes, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, so I thought you were talking Anyways, about two wounds minus two. So it is down to five ups. Okay. And it makes one. So three damage. And that brings it down to six, I believe. Okay. And 2d6 into the Black Knights. That's eight shots. Okay. Rerolling ones because I'm an uh, Exarch. And this is the Dark Shard again? No, this is into the Black Knights. Okay. Wounding on five. So that's three wounds at minus two. So, so they have five ups. Yeah. And they make one. That's okay, so one wound. Uh, this squad will fire a Tempest Launcher into them, too. Five shots. Hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Hitting on fives. Uh, one wound. Minus two. And he dies. Cool. Um, my Autark will fire his double shot gun into them. Hitting on twos. Both hit. Uh, one wound. Minus two. On this guy? Yes, sir. So, five up. Makes it. Ugh, bitch. All right. Um, I can't shoot those guys over there because they're locked in combat. Those swings shot. So, I will... Do I charge Samuel and give you a free headhunter point? 
I mean, I got to because you're going to consolidate into me. So I will uh, charge Samuel. With uh, the seer? Well, if, yeah. Yeah, why not? All right. You can see if you can kill me in Overwatch. I highly doubt it. Hitting you on sixes. Two hits, rerolling everything else because of himself. Damn. Okay, five hits. <laughs> uh, toughest three, so wounding you on threes. Uh, three wounds at no AP. Four open moments. Fail two. I got him with two wounds. Okay. And then D3 plasma can shots. He gets two. Uh, one hit, re-rolling the other one because of himself, and then winning you on a two up. Two. Minus three. Four pin bomb. Fail. One damage. Right? Yep. Oh, Jesus Christ. So I almost did die. Charge again. Uh, and I make the charge. I was hoping to survive for a round, but not gonna <laughs> happen. Um, over here, no charges. So I will go on to the fight phase. Okay. Uh, that guy attacks first. He yeah. has. I never used the spirit here, but I think he's a, just a warlock. Let me check. Yeah, he's like a different version of it. Two has... attacks, wounds on twos. Yeah. Two damage each. Okay. Wounds on twos. Yeah. Hits on threes. Both hit. Always wounds on a two. Uh, two wounds. No AP. So three ups. Sure. Uh, he's good. Fuck me in the ass. <laughs> I hoping I just get like I was thinking to myself, maybe he rolls a one and a two and Yeah, no, I mean the smites, I was like, I'm boned, so that's pretty good. Um so he gets uh five attacks back, and then he won twos. Rerolling all misses because of himself. Well for technically the Wraith Knight fights first, but oh, okay. it's all good, it's all good. Okay. Um and then wounding you on I believe it is just plus two, so threes. Okay. So they all wound and at yeah. minus three. Pour up involved, let's take them all. Almost. I died. <laughs> let's give up a head on the point. That's, that was a smart play, yeah. But it was a fun play. Okay, so Wraith Knight <laughs> has four and attacks. And he will choose to not move. He's not going to God, I believe Tau. I mean, I'm Tau. God. Eldar is still ahead at this point, right? Yeah, it's close, but I'm, I'm ahead. So I'm going to stomp on those guys. So I have four attacks, goes to 12. Okay. Um, I hit on three. I miss with three of those twelve, so nine hits, and I'm wounding on two. Mm -hmm. So all but one, so eight. Eight wound at minus two. So that is eight and we'll saves of three up. And oh god, oh god, that was bad. <laughs> oh jeez. That was really look how many fucking I don't know, just tell me. Six? Six. Uh, Seriously? Some on six little bitches. There's one wound, and then two wounds to kill a guy. Okay. Four more, right? Yep. So, uh, two wounds, two wounds, three wounds, sorry. Two wounds, and one wound. So one guy has a wound left. One guy has a wound left? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Squishy. Mm. He will consolidate. God damn! To be closer, since you're not basing me, I will move over here. Okay. Be, uh, actually, three inches, so I don't want to cheat. But there you go. And I'll base you. Woo, right Nelly. Squish. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> I'm hitting you twice. Uh, Missing nope. both times. <laughs> Very afraid. He's, hey, everyone over here, all my friends just died. Shit. Fuck! So I killed. Uh, I killed the ancient on your turn, actually. Yes, you killed so the ancient on my he, turn. He's a kill for that. So I hold. Anyway, first I hold one, and I kill one for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have the bonus point, but I killed one, two. Um, there's no morale right there, right? He's no, fine. he's fearless. Okay, I killed one, two, just those two characters, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, that's it, right? I think so. I think I killed you again. What about those intercessors? Did I, did I kill them last turn? I killed them the turn before. Right? Yeah. So yeah, I got a two to your three. So you're gonna get more kills. Uh, I hold one, two. You hold one. You don't. I don't even know if you hold one, but um, I should I hold more than you for sure. Yeah, you do hold more than me, but I do hold one. This and turn. I got recon one, two, three, four. And I got two. I got a total of two points for headhunter now. Mm -hmm. And I got warlord for a third point. Cool. So, uh, your turn, good sir. So this is a stop of four. So we should be able to get to turn five. 
Um, Axis of Entropy, they, it ends when both, the, they end the turn when both players are, or they play the last, they play out the last turn when both players are below 10 one. minutes. At the start, at the top of a round. Yeah. But if it's five minutes, we could probably get to six, but we'll see. You know how fast uh, Tom dies. He's doing good. He's doing all right. All right, so these guys will jump down here. They'll, they'll be holding that objective. Sure. <laughs> this will be a nine, eight inch charge. So he's going to jump 12 inches right here. Okay. Um, this thing is going to move right here. Being a dark shroudy. Mm-hmm. Uh, this guy is going to move 14 inches right there. Do me a favor and ask, and let me see if these guys see that guy. No. Okay. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, I'm just going All right. Sammy's going to move 14. Right there. Hello, Dark Reapers. <laughs> You're going to get screwed. Hopefully, that's the plan. And then Sir Brave Dark Knight, is Deathwing Knight, is going to try his damnedest to stay alive here. Um, all right, so my shooting phase is going to be pretty simple. Um, he's going to be firing at those guys. Okay. Hitting you on threes, two hits, mm -hmm. winning you on twos, uh, one wound. Uh, two up save because I'm in cover. Then minus three. So five up save. Oh, how much damage? It's one damage each. I'll put it on the Exarch. There are multiple damage. Oh, this yeah, is the Exarch. The Exarch has two wounds. That's right, yeah. that's right. I was like, son of a bitch. All right, so the Dark Shroud is going to be firing, hitting you on fours because it moved. Uh, one hits, wounding you on a two, one wound. Uh, or no, three, but so, yeah, but yeah, I still have No, one. AP one? AP minus one, yeah. So three ups. Good. You're good, okay. Um, Sammy, uh, I believe he's within 12. Yes. Over here. Yes. He wants to rapid fire those fools. I am going to rapid fire those fools. They don't overwatch on threes, right? No. no okay. They used to, I think, but not anymore. Okay, so he's going to overwatch those fools, hitting you on twos, rerolling ones because of himself, all hit, and then re uh, wounding you on threes. So that is uh, one, two, three, four, five. Two hits. Failed one, and my XR dies. Because he already had a wound on him. Then D3 plasma cannon shots, he gets two, hitting you on threes, rerolling ones, both hit, wounding you on twos. Oh my god, only one goes through. Minus three. Minus three. So five up to three. One guy dies. Okay. Um, can you tell me if that's reaching your base? Uh, yeah, just missing it. If you can go a little bit forward further, you're on it. Here, I'll just put it over my base, right there. All right, so I think three intercessors can hit you, because cool. I don't know if this yeah. guy in the back can see you. No, he cannot, but the other three can. Sure. So three intercessor shots, uh, all hits. Okay. Uh, and threes, and these are minus one. So three of armor. He dies. <laughs> intercessors, gotta love them. Getting clutch. I like those guys. I know they're pretty awesome. I I mean, they are expensive, but even but with chapter approved, they're much more affordable, and I think they're totally worth taking. Yeah. Um. So assault phase. Um. He is going to charge your dude right here. I do not believe he can see. Oh yeah, I don't think I can. So he needs an eight-inch charge. Oh. Six. Yeah, because six won't get me close enough. Damn nope. it. Hooray! Hooray! Wave Serpent lives! Uh, he is going to charge over here, and I believe he needs... Let's see. I think he needs an 8-inch charge there as well. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, 8 inches will do it. Okay. Um, but Overwatch I think... with my uh, Tempest Launcher. Uh, 8 shots. Hit on pitches, rerolling ones. 2 hits so far, wounding on 5. 1 wound. Three up. He's good. Cool. Needing an eight inch charge. Nope, does not make it there. Cool. Um, Sammy's gonna charge your guys over there. Uh, crack shots. One hit, there we go. No, it doesn't wound. Oh. And then it's a four inch charge. Let me shoot my Tempest Launcher. Uh, seven shots. Rerolling ones. No hit, oh, one hit. And 
doesn't know it. So he needs at least four inches. Oh, <laughs> just got it. Just got it. I just w w uh, wobbly him here. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Yeah. So he's got um, five attacks, hitting you on twos, hits with all of them. He's strength eight on the charge, so winning you on twos. Ugh, three, and these are at minus three. So sixes. Uh, they're dead. And they're two damage each. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And he's going to consolidate towards the closest enemy, which in this case will probably be those guys. And those guys, so he'll go this direction. Sure. Damn it, I really need to tie them up. I could just fall back here. Yeah. Hmm? Could just fall back. Oh, these guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. Um, I needed that was the charge I needed more than anything to make it. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, then single bro. And then my single bro has got two attacks. See if he can bring honor to the chapter. That's what I should have played if I had more stratagems. Ooh, double sixes. Needing force to wound. Double wounds. Five up and roll. Minimum. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <coughs> I'm gonna hit you with my. Feet, actually. I want to hit you with my sword just for cool factor, but the feet give me more attack, so. Yeah, probability. Threes to hit. Which is another problem with the sword. Which is... And, uh, two to one. Mm-hmm. So, that's five saves, good sir. Alright, let's see if I can make five, this three ups. one wound on him, so. Because remember last time I had... You didn't put a card count. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, you're that's right. That's fine, just roll your things. I failed, so he's dead. Cool. All right, and I will consolidate three inches toward the closest model, which I think is those guys, so... There we go. Okay. Uh, are now you, is your turn. Are you still controlling that objective? I mean, you will be in next turn. doesn't matter. I'm not controlling it right now. No. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, so I killed a unit, and I hold one objective. Uh, this is turn four. Mm-hmm. And you didn't get big game hunter. Okay. Um, and I killed... How many did you kill? You killed two Dark Reaper squads? Two Dark Reaper squads, yep. That's about okay. it. And I killed one here. Mm -hmm. Oh no, you killed two Dark Reaper and then, oh that was that last turn. You that was that last turn, yeah, the bottom of your turn. So you killed two, and I've already killed one. Uh, one. Mm -hmm. okay. This is where I lose the game. All, All right. right, turn four. All right, so hopefully we can go to turn five. I just gotta play it in five minutes, okay. So I don't wanna move. Well, he has those 11 minutes, so you would be able to get to. Both, remember, both players. Oh, both have to be below, okay. Both have to be below 10. Okay. While Jeff is moving around, I'm going to show off. What am I showing off? Oh, an intercessor. Uh, One of uh, the, the guy who can't get the clip or magazine. Move, excuse please. me. Yeah. So I don't get yelled at by my brother. <laughs> can't get the magazine into his bolt gun because there's something blocking it. It's called it's out of ammo, and he's putting more in. No, because there's no space to put the bolt gun. Well, that's that's GW's faulty game. Why didn't you we drill? Why didn't you drill it out? Or at least paint it black. Because it took. I painted this entire army in a week. I advanced my far I painted this entire army in a week. Yeah, Give me a break. So here's the Ghetto 360. Bam. Look at that. Look at that. I advanced my uh, spirits here. Actually, not bad for painting it in a week. <laughs> Don't call to come back. It's at least uh, tabletop quality. Damn, we're at it. I did the extra shading and everything. I can't tell. Yeah, so my Wraith Knight still has 10 yeah. wounds, but he's well, training as being mine. full. Because <laughs> he has 20 wounds, technically. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, completely out of the way. I was like, which direction? Apparently the complete opposite. You will walk over here to try and smash these intercessors. With his little feet. That is what help baits. They have baits on. Uh, I think I can see your thunder hammer. You, you didn't move out of the line of sight of that corner. And they have 48 inch range, so. There we go. You can see him? Mm-hmm. Should I want to shoot him? I might want you to shoot Samuel, actually. We'll see how it goes. Um, Damn, you can. Alright, psychic phase. We'll switch camera's angle so you don't have to see Tom's ass as he's been. I will doom Samuel. I already switched it too late. Doom on Samuel. Is but thanks for sashaying in front of us. Six there. doesn't go off. I'll use my runes. Seven it does go off. I will. Um, Yoshi uh, Salty John was on. I don't know if he's still on. Ooh, I'm out of 18, unfortunately. So I will, um, I'll jinx this guy. Okay. So reduce his armor save by one. Doesn't need to be visible. No, I fail anyways. And then I'll, uh, he's doomed, so I will, fortune is 24 inches. I should know this, but I never take this spell. Isn't it one of, isn't it actually, not, not to, isn't it one of the more, like, taken spells by elder players normally? 
No, no. I mean, I know you no. play differently generally, but... Not really. I mean, unless you have a Death Star you want to buff up. So, I will actually fortune that guy just because... I fail. Alright. Uh, shooting phase. Let's shoot the Dark Reapers into Samuel. Okay. Uh, That's where legends are made. Yeah, right here. let's do that. Everything into Samuel. So, here's the two crack shots. One hit. One wound at minus two. Four up invul. Makes it. Motherfucker. <laughs> two D6 shots from the uh, Tempest Launcher. Bitch. Ten shots. Rerolling ones, but I don't get any ones. Your toughness five? Yes. So five to wound. One wound, oh no. Three up. <coughs> Minus two, by the way. Oh, so, so still fails, so he's down two. Um, Autark shoots two shots into him. To the Sammy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Both hit. Force a wound. Two wounds. Minus two, baby. So I got one of these and you did. Make oh, him he makes them both. Whoop, whoop. Uh, oh, and you're doomed. I forgot about that. Oh, well. That was my bad. When I'm whiffed with six. Oh, the, temp the Tempest launchers. launchers, yeah. Oh, well. That is what you get for being a bad player. <laughs> uh, over there, I'll do crack shots into that dude. Okay, from your Wraith Knight? Yeah, or from, from the, from the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wave Serpent. Oh, wave Serpent. One hit. One wound, minus two. So he's at a five up. Makes Jesus it. Jesus Christ. Four shots from the underslung. Three hits. Uh, no wounds. Ooh, not good. Not good. All right. Let's declare some charges. I will declare a charge with both of these guys. This guy. Let me see if I can even get you. I need probably a 12 with the Farseer. And an 11 with the Wraith, with the um, Spirit Sphere. So I'll try the Spirit Sphere first. Here. Okay. Nope. Let's try the Force here. Nope. All right. Uh, Wraith Knight into the Primaris Marines. All right, so they get 10 shots at you because they're full strength. I'm going to clock because I, uh, that, that'll, yeah. So needing sixes. They score two. And sixes. Nothing. Okay. So, back, back, 2d6, 10 inches, would you mind, uh, actually I'll just do it. Okay. And I will attack my feet. Okay. Again, normally I would pick up, but this is because of the clock we can't. Oh, look at all those ones and, and two now ones. I'm glad I did not. <laughs> four hits out of 12. All right, two is the wound. So four wounds at minus two. Minus three. Let me check. Um, will it matter? One might matter. Minus two. So I saved one, you have three left. Okay, so first one does one wound, second one does two wounds, so that's one guy dead. Second, last one does two wounds, so I killed two guys. Intercessors are holding up better than my Deathwing <laughs> in that last phase. All right, um, that is my go. I kill nothing, but I hold one, two. Mm -hmm. so you're one. Are they within three inches of the objective? Uh, they were placed to be okay. so, yes. So then you're holding that one. So we tied on that. You killed more than me. Oh, this is turn four. Sorry. Oops. So I killed one. Oh, I did not kill one, right? Uh, oh no, I killed one. You killed one guy in the bottom of my turn. You didn't kill anybody just now. Okay, so then I don't think that counts. No, Does not it? for your turn, only for the overall. Only no. kill more. I didn't kill one. I hold one. You don't hold more. Uh, I do have recon. Mm hmm. Yeah. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I only do kill two of your characters, right? Yes, because I have. Cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, no, you've killed. The Ancient, the Lyle. Yeah. Um, That's it. Yeah, and then Sammy, Sammy and the lieutenant are left. Yeah, that's right. Cool. Uh, so turn five. Okay, turn five. Hit the clock. Sammy not dying is a big deal. It is a very big deal. So I'm here fuck up my Dark Reapers. <clears throat> so he is going to move 14. And... Is right there? Yep. I'm just I don't think you can be placed there, actually. Yeah, so let's go right as close as he sure. can without being actually next to them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we're going to You'll move around on the charge. Then... He is doomed. He is doomed. I wish I'd remember that if I was a good player. <laughs> You're passable. Um, 
You're passable. Thank you. Uh, he... He's keeping you humble, Jim. Sure. Has a 14-inch move, yeah. and I'm going to try and play some there, <coughs> but with the intent to be closer <coughs> to him. <coughs> if that's possible. Right there. Cool. Okay. Yeah. All right, so... Let's see. They will fall. They have to fall back more than an inch away. Yes. So that means they would lose objective controlled. <sighs> this is probably the stupider decision, but no guts, no glory. So I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Plus you have less than ten minutes. Right. So I'm going to. Uh, Let's see, I'm going to fall back with these guys. So they're gonna go back up here. Are they on the first floor? Uh, yes. Okay, that's fine. Um, are we, but if we're using true distances, they're four inches up. So, okay. You want them to move up? Uh, yeah, but I, I, could, I could probably, so that's one, fine. four, oh, okay. here. That's fine. Yeah, they'll move an inch back, just be on the safe side. I'm losing that objective, but that's fine. Um, okay, so then this guy is coming at you like a friggin' boss, because why not? I mean, I could think of a few reasons why not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've lost this game, I think, so I'm... I don't know, it's pretty close. <laughs> score, keep moving. Alright, so Sammy's gonna fire a super mega bolter, or actually, first the Dark Shroud's gonna fire, um, its heavy bolter at the, your Reapers, hitting you on threes. Uh, no rerolls, but two hits. It's actually six, 14 to 20, so... Uh, one wound, <laughs> one wound on your reapers. Okay, uh, four up save. I think it's close. Uh, no, it's not. I guess I haven't been scoring the last few turns, but I scored a lot of bonus points. I have almost all my secondaries. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sammy's gonna fire, um, all of his stuff at the reapers as well. Sure. Hitting you on twos, re-rolling ones because of himself. All hits. And needing threes. So that is four. Uh, okay, one wound. I'll put it on the XR. Carry on. D3 from his thing. He gets two. Hitting on threes, both hit. Wounding on twos, two at minus three. Uh, XR and one guy dead. Okay. Yeah. Um, so now the uh, Huntsman is going to fire at your bro right here. Okay, sure. And he is going to overcharge. Sure. Because he's near Samael, so he gets the rerolls. <laughs> yeah. Should be six, right? Yeah, I think you're within six for sure. Cool. So hitting you on threes, rerolling ones because of Sammy. They uh, both hit. I was hoping you would die. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, yeah, well, he explodes D6 mortal wounds, so uh, no, I'm just kidding. Winning you on twos. All right, so two at minus three. Vulnerable things. I take two damage. I have two wounds left. Okay. Um... All right, they they retreated so they can't fire. Shot, shot, shot. All right, so charges. Huntsman is going to charge uh, both the that. Uh, both my characters. No, he's going to charge both of these guys. Okay, I will shoot a crack missile into him. Uh, no, double shot missile. No hits, and then a pistol. Miss. So he makes the charge. So he's just going to kind of rotate like so. Um, Sammy will charge. <laughs> Um, all three. Sure. I'll shoot with my far here. Hits. Wounds. Makes Damn. it. Damn. I was hoping the far suit would touch. And he's like boss save in this game. You know. He is. Uh, and he only makes it against uh, that guy. I think. You are within four inches of me, so yeah. You would you <clears throat> need to do this. Okay. Alright, so the Huntsman has... Uh, oh, and he's charging there. Oh, cool. No overwatch. He makes it like a boss. Cool. How many how many command points do you have left? Zero. Okay, cool. Alright, uh Sammy is going to attack uh six times against your I think it's yeah, it's six. It's it's six, yes. Sure. Yes. Uh only on I'll the just guardian. Pick them up. Okay. I'm nice. You know, you I should just let you burn down your clock. And then three minutes or what is it? Then he's gonna move three inches that direction. Huntsman is going to swing three times at your bro right oh, here. I would have heroically intervened in, but... Oh, okay, go for it. Uh, three, he's going to do that there. Into this guy? Yep. Okay. So, re-rolling misses because of Sammy. All hits. 
needing um, threes to wound. And these do additional D3 wounds because he wounded you on six. The red one will be the one that's not a six. Uh, so one damage. So I saved the two uh, that do extra. Unbelievable. <laughs> the one I did not want you to save. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, my farce here, because I want to kill you on... Let's do this oh, one yeah, real quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so three three attacks hitting you on threes. <sighs> and then wounding you on four. a four. Wounds. Involved. No, failed. So uh, three? Three damage. I just take three. So I don't I did, didn't get uh, fortune off. Cool. Um, all right. Uh, I'll attack back. I'm gonna use my spears here first. He has two attacks. Uh, both hit. Always wound on a two. Two wounds. On the against huntsman? The, against the huntsman, yeah. Any minuses? No. Three ups. Uh, he takes one. D three damage. One! Oh, little bitch. Yeah, I'll use this. Okay. Um, and my far seer will attack him too. Two attacks. Hitting on twos. Huh. One hit. Let me just make sure he hits on twos. Because my time now. Hits on twos. All right. And then wounds on twos because it's a witch blade. So one wound on the huntsman. Okay. And any mices? No. Three up. He's good. Cool. Okay. Um, uh, I'll do. Uh, I'm going to do a sword because it's cool. Uh, one, <laughs> one hit. No, uh, I don't know if it has minus one to hit this one with the giant sword. Uh, I don't think does, it does. I don't think it does either, but I want to check because I don't want to cheat. Is that no. just a dude? So one hit, uh, two to wound. Minus four. Minus four, that is... He just gets decapitated. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and I will consolidate. I can't get in you, so I'm not going to consolidate. Okay, um, so my turn. Let's do your points real quick. You got... So I killed uh, killed two, one unit. One, this is the Dark Reaper squad? Yep. Okay. Um, And and I killed one unit just so far, just for tallying. Mm -hmm. And you do not, you do hold one. Mm. I hold, yeah, one objective at the very least. Cool. All right, so let's do this turn. Um, So since we're both under 10, once you finish your turn, the game is over? No, we'll start start turn turn six. We'll start turn six, but that's it. Yeah. Let's move 12 here. No! How many wounds does uh, Rayclan have left? Seven. I'll go 16 here. Is that his normal movement? Then? Yes. Damn. And he has, Tree was having. Um, it's Elder. Yeah. He's the Andon. He has uh, 16 wounds left, so he's in his first full tier. How many uh, how many points is he that with all his gear? 177 or something like that. They're cheap as shit. Well, okay. for what they can do, yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna fall back here, uh, so I'm gonna smite with this guy. Um, actually, I'll smite with my forest here first, so into, into the black knight. Mm-hmm. Goes off, kills him. See, I only have one wound left. Right. So um, that means we are now tied on units, or you're bidding me in units. Uh, I've killed one to your one. Yes. So we're tied. Uh, no, two. No, two. Because I killed that. Yeah. Guy. But yeah. one one overall this turn. Yeah, but I, I will get my kill mm-hmm. but for this turn, but I'll, uh, oh, I know. tally. Anyways, yeah. uh, I'm going to cast uh, Doom on Samuel. It uh, goes off on a seven. And then I will cast... Actually, I'm not in combo anymore. <clears throat> it wasn't my intent, but yeah, I'm over one inch away. Uh, and then this guy, I will actually... I'll smite you. Let's just do it. Nine for three mortal ones, so he dies. Uh, uh, that's it. Yeah, I should have doomed this guy, but oh well. Uh, I'm trying to play fast, so I will shoot into him with my uh, uh, Autonarch. Hits on a three, because even though it's minus one, strength eight, wounds, minus two. <clears throat> so save on the Dark Shroud. Uh, minus two means it's on a five up. Cool. Nope, three damage. So he's down to three. Okay, I will charge with my, uh, actually I'll shoot my missiles into the Dark Shroud. Crack missiles, both miss. Charge. Oh, you can overwatch, sorry. Uh, hitting you on sixes, misses completely. Okay. And I'm in. I'll swing around here. I have seven wounds left, sorry. And I will attack with my sword. It's, it's cooler. <laughs> uh, two hits, two's the wound. Uh, that's one at minus four. So that would put me at a seven. So six damage. Does he explode? He does! <laughs> and that is how many? Probably three. Maybe just one. 
Yeah, last two years, I think. D3. Cool. So, okay. yeah. Your dude takes two. So I go down to five. Still, uh, <laughs> now I'm in my no. second tier, I think. Yeah. But that guy's dead. So you're saying there is a chance. All right, so points. Uh, I will kill one, kill more than you. I hold one, and I hold more than you. I also get the bonus point, because I hold everything. Dark Shot's dead. Mm-hmm. Um, right. I got another point for a head, two more points for a headhunter, and I'll get, well, um, I won't get last strike yet. Um, but now what will happen is we'll start the, oh, we shouldn't be in your turn, sorry. We'll start turn six because we both have less than 10 minutes now. This mm-hmm. is the last turn. Okay. Um, and then you go ahead. All right, so. Do you um, come out where I can shoot you or do you stay in there? <laughs> well, I'm right here. Uh, this is not up here. Oh, you're saying this is first. <coughs> actually, you're my first one. Halfway, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I wonder if you're on the first floor. I would say no. Sorry. Uh, you want to be on the roof? That would be, that makes sense to oh. me. Okay, I'm, sure. I would that have shot affected you? Earlier he oh. stated they were on the roof. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I would have shot them. But Sorry, fine. I... I when you I'll said, shoot them this turn. Yeah. Carry on. That, when you said first floor, I thought you meant you like literal... literal yeah, I'm sorry. Um, okay. They're going to die. <laughs> yeah, I they're, was wondering if they were going to hide or if they were going to try and kill something. <laughs> they're going to go... Well, let's see. Do I go for more shots or re-rolling ones? That's the question. Probably more shots. That makes sense, I think. Because if I stand put, I get to re-roll once, but I only hit your Wraith Knight off with three... with. In three shots. So you can't kill him, then. That would be true. I cannot kill him. So that That's actually funny. makes the decision for me. <laughs> math! If your intent is to kill the right Math thing. is a funny thing. All right, so let's do this. They're going to go... You can one. just send him a little forward to talk it. Yeah, so... If they can hit 15 inches within the... No, they'd have to go down here. That's fine. So... Uh, but you would be within one of my... Thingy? Yeah, so if they're here, they can move six. So That's one. Down. Three and then one, so basically. This is how you're gonna spend your last two minutes. No. You can. I mean, you really should. You have two minutes and forty seconds. I mean, I've got nothing else to do, and I'm not assaulting you. So, um, I'll just go down this but way. But still at fifteen there. I think you might be right. Let me. I'm on you. Yeah. So I'll just screw it. They'll just they'll just stay put and reroll. Maybe, maybe kill you in Overwatch. Who knows? Three shots hitting you on threes. Cause yeah, I'm not going to charge you, but okay. <laughs> but you, you should. Can, if he's on the second floor anyway. Yeah, that's why I'm not going <clears throat> no. Actually, yeah. yeah. All right, so hitting you on threes, we're only ones. There's that one. Oh. Clutch decisions. All right, and then wounding you on uh, sixes. Sixes. Sixes, yeah. Goddamn. Yep, fours and fives. And that's my turn. And I did not score Jack. Okay. And you don't get any of your last strike point. Nope. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Probably had a better chance of killing the Wraith than that, or the Wave Serpent, but... Yeah. It has eight wounds, I don't think you could have killed it either. Well, if I had a, I mean, if I threw a crack grenade on it and assaulted it and shot it and stuff, I don't know, I could have gotten lucky. I can't see you with anything. I can't get over there. So I'm just going to shoot at that thing <clears throat> All right. with my Wave Serpent. And uh, that's four shots into them with the Underslung. Uh, all four hit. No wounds. And I'll just shoot frag missiles, because I can't kill you otherwise. Ten shots. Hitting on threes. All right, there we go, baby. Let me see if I can kill these guys after all. Four. I should have doomed you, actually. I should have been, but like I said, not good player. Five wounds. <laughs> all right, Minus so one, so three of them. Yeah. So they're all good. Cool. <laughs> All right, uh, that's all she wrote. I get full bonus points here. Because, uh, well, I didn't actually kill one. You didn't kill one. Nope. So you I, do I hold, do more, hold you more. I hold more than you. I get a bonus point. So I get three. I didn't get, I don't get last strike, actually. Ha! That was my plan all along. Uh, uh, you should, you have, you killed two of my characters, right? Yeah, at the very least. Yeah. Uh, big game hunter, you got two. Okay. All right. So the total comes to, Tom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Not a bad showing. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 34. Damn it. I lose. <laughs> Wait, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, right. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, plus uh, 3 is 22, plus 8 is 30. Ouch. Yeah, this is close. Close for the list I was using <clears throat> against Eldar. 
little moral victories. So 30 to 17, 30 to 17 Eldar. You guys want to have a seat real quick? Yeah. Discuss it really quick. I love my rape night. <laughs> I want to bring him more. Well, I have a feeling if, if he had like two las cannons, I would have died. I have a feeling if he was a real army, he would have died. Yeah. But hey, he punked for a while. Actually, he didn't get to punk for a while. No, no, that, and that was that's what will haunt you for the rest well, of your days. Well, no, I have to bring him next time we play. <laughs> so real quick, Jeff, what do you think of Dark Angels in general? Um, we, don't, we don't see them a lot. I don't Dark Angels. Are, really I played them on um, at the tournament last uh, Saturday as well. My issue with Dark Angels is that they're they're great. I think you can make a pure Dark Angels list and be competitive, but mm -hmm. the thing is, is you need those intercessors. I think what those would make some tick. And I think you need a battalion. I think you should have taken another unit of, of yeah. uh, intercessors. I actually don't really rate the melee guys um, that you take. I, it, they're nice, but like you got to make a nine inch charge. Mm -hmm. The the death shroud or death wing. No, the, the death wing. The, the terminators of my death wing knights stomped on. Oh, okay. Um, they're People they're okay. Back. Yeah, they're they're okay, but they don't really do anything if they don't make it. They just kind of sit there. Yeah. And you know that's kind of what I think is the problem. And you have two units of them. You know. Yeah, and the and thing is, you have so many points locked up in that the, in, with yeah. the while in the in the chapter ancient or whatever he's called. I actually think if you just dropped them and you had an extra. <clears> um, you know, the larger uh, Black Knight squad. Yeah. You know, I actually, I've, I've been telling you, you need Dark Talons. I think they make, yeah. you know, they make Dark Angels really, really good. Yes. Yeah. You don't need to dip into guard to get the Corvus Aquila and the and uh, you know the whatnot, but I don't think so. Yeah, but if you if you want to be pure, I think I think you need to have. I think Flyerwing is. I think every army should have Flyerwing. I I I can't speak highly enough of it to block out hordes mm -hmm. um, from its charging on first turn and yeah. to, you know zone people out who. You know, like thirty bold blood letters can't charge your dark talons. Yeah, you know, so they're good for zoning out that that uh, melee mm -hmm. gene stealers and stuff like that that might eat you up. Yeah, that's true. You, know, you can literally put them base to base so that they have a wall. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that three flyers is phenomenal in any list. And not to mention which dark talons for what they can do are so cheap. Yeah, they're so cheap, and they they're have like they a fucking ton of power. And then their oh, right yeah. hands do mortal wounds if you just do one wound or something like that. Yeah, you roll for more wounds. Yeah. They're great. I played at LVO. The guy I tied against, um, I want to say it was Sean, Sean, maybe Sean, um, but he, <laughs> Sean yeah, the real. it was fucking ridiculous. They were mean as shit, dude. They yeah. fucked my shit up and um, they exploded, like two of them exploded <laughs> when I blew them up. So I mean, I think that's really what won me that game. But yeah, um, yeah I think Dark Angels are competitive, but oh, I, yeah, I no. think you can stay pure Dark Angels and be competitive. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I wanted. I like the. I like the Deathwing Knight models, and I think they're hella fun to use. So I'm glad I picked them up. Honest to God, though, I I, am, I, I have a Repulsor that I, I could still use. I have a Predator and a Land Raider. I have, I have a bunch of other options that I haven't even tried out. And I know they're none of the things that you just talked about right now. <laughs> but um, but like I do know that. I mean, something I am aware of is the Deathwing. If they don't make that charge, they're pointless, and they just waste a. Turn. A nine inch charge with a reroll is is iffy. But the only the reason why I do like them though is. Um, the reason I was originally running them was is because they actually provide a pretty decent screen for um, my Raven Wing, or they provide like a big, big oh shit bubble of death somewhere. Yeah. But the Dark Towns can screen your your Dark Town, your and they have the mobility to boot. from first turn charges, mm -hmm. and they can be anywhere on the board. Some yeah, characters, no. you know, like oh yeah, totally. Some people out. I mean, no, yeah, no. I know, are, are superb. No, I know that Deathwing are the weak element of this army, especially when you know the two squads of knights alone come out to five hundred points. <laughs> Throw Belial on there. Each? They're no, they're two fifty each. Oh, I was say. they're two fifty for squad. Yeah, you know, they're they they're expensive as hell. Um, yeah, it's like five hundred points. Yeah, Plus Belial and the chapter. Belial and the ancient both between themselves come out to another three sixty. So that's like eight hundred and sixty points I can pour anywhere else. Oh. And you know, I think three dark towns is like four hundred fifty points. Away. It's it's uh, four hundred and eighty. Yeah. So I'd still have another four hundred and change yeah. to do something with. And honest, to, and honestly too, something that I, I with playing this list now the third time in a row without changing it is I need more than five command points. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you just all you gotta do is add one more intercessor squad. They're yeah, great. Or scouts. I actually have a box of scouts I just picked up. So oh, I can, yeah. yeah, so easily. Scouts are really good, too. Yeah, and, then, and they'll provide me more zoning options outside my deployment zone, which yeah. is what, another thing I need. So, yeah, no, I, I, no, I totally agree. Though This is just a fun list that I had. And, yeah, uh, no, I mean, it was cool. It was awesome to see the Wraith Knight battling it out with them. Yeah, no, that's, that's cool. That's just kind of like, what I was hoping for. Stop, stop, stop. Because the second mean, you were like, yeah, I'm bringing a Wraith Knight, I was like, oh, this is a fun game. All right, I'm doing, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing this. <laughs> the Wraith Knight performed, but it's because you had no shooting. Yeah. I don't no. think you shot a storm bolt around him. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, so, and something else I'm considering, too, is with those extra points, um, you know, 
if, especially if I can't, I mean, depending on whether or not I can throw in the Dark Talons just because I have to buy models and that's expensive, is uh, using using Hellblasters as a, an, like a Predator as a backline and just having it just like a fire base. And then I've gotten a uh, Chapter Master model I can turn to Azrael. And so like just having something in the center that's four up in Volt and just is like a whole big range of glass cannons. Well, and, that, and the, the Predator doesn't get it, I don't think. I can put glass cannons on, on the Predator. For I know, but he, yeah, but he doesn't get the four up in Volt, so I'm trying to say. Oh, he doesn't get that, but uh, then I'd throw the Dark Shroud with them and make them all also minus one mm -hmm. to hit. So, yeah. I mean, there's any number of balances you I can, can do. do. Tweak, or, tweak it around, you yeah. know? Oh yeah, for sure, no, but I know the Deathwing element is the, the, the most, it's the most swingy element. 200 orcs versus 200 god, gods? You got, I only have 120 orcs, so. though. Oh, yeah, if you count Gretchen, though, it's definitely 200. Well, if I if I play Tau, I'm, I'm definitely building a battalion, so I would have at least four squads. Of, I have at least 40 fire warriors, and that takes a long time to shoot. I'm just saying, I'm going to bring 210 Gretchen and orcs. I, you know what? It's called target practice, man. <laughs> I, guess, I guess we have the rematch set. <laughs> So, Tau versus orcs, and I'll bring yeah, and I'll bring an infantry, and and that's the thing. Tau takes forever in their shooting phase too, so that's because they don't have any other phase. That's right. We only get one phase. Keep moving, the moving phase is extremely important for you guys. It is important, but it de yeah, it depends. It depends on how that's you position yourself. Lock down all their John. You don't get a choice in this. <laughs> what you, does he want? He said no Tau. Uh, and no yes, Tau. we know that your Fortress of Redemption is gorgeous. Although gorgeous. I, I I really I mean it looks more like the fortress of the uh, what is it the Tower of Liberty because it looks like it was copper at one point and you lost the tone. <laughs> oh wow! Kind of like yeah, kind of looks kind of looks uh yeah. I was going to say it looks 10 pounds heavier on camera. Ooh, impressions about playing with a clock. You go first. Oh, uh, I love the clock. Uh, I am used to playing on the clock because I play Blood Bowl. Yeah. And in Blood Bowl, you have a five-minute clock, which is usually enough time to get to your turn, but it's a turn timer. So the, the whole new element of of adding, um, adding to your, like, being able to manage your time. I think I, as a player, I've noticed now that I've played the clock three times, I think, in 40K, uh, I, I'm slow in the beginning. And my army can be fast from the beginning, but I just need to, like, it's just, you, there's so much to think about in your decision, uh, almost paralysis is a, is a, what makes your first turn take a long time, but I think that's kind of the nature of the clock is that you have to, um, you have to move quickly, you know, otherwise you're gonna run out of time. Like, in this game, I was lucky, you know, I, it wasn't a whole, a whole lot for me to think about after turn three or so, it was just kind of like, it was, the, 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 the Priorities presented themselves to me. Everything was right in front of me, so I didn't have a lot of decisions to make after turn one. Um, my Wraith Knight pretty much did a boogie around the Tower of Redemption hmm. and uh, just fought things, and my, everything else beautiful kind of Tower fell, Redemption. Fell, fell back and, you know, uh, fought. But the, the clock itself is it's a little stressful, so if, if, I highly recommend if you're going to go to BAO, get reps in with the clock because it's going to be something you need to manage. Um, mm -hmm and be comfortable with because if you're just jumping into it you're going to get um nervous or you're going to forget something or heaven forbid that you forget to pass the clock to your opponent and the rules state that it's not your opponent's job to pass the clock so if if tom doesn't pass me the clock when his turn is over i don't it's not my responsibility to hit the clock i mean i'm an asshole if i don't right um like, in the, beginning, like in the beginning when we were deploying because we we're both getting used to the clock you had you had missed hitting it twice, but I was like, "Hey, it's your turn to hit the clock this time." Oh yeah, you know, like that—that's a nice thing yeah. to do because we're generally nice people. Yeah, sportsmanship is a thing, and then this is another thing that sure. This is one of my gripes yeah. with the with the um, with the clock rules is that there's no incentive now to um, to uh, come to an agreement on how a, a melee combat will come out or something like that because it, it as a player. It's your your incentive actually is the opposite to to make your opponent burn through their clock and roll out their thirty genes so against your two Gretchen, mm -hmm. and I, I put a comment up on the the frontline game saying that look the, the guy two Gretchen should just be able to pass and go like I'm not even gonna swing my guy you know without you know having to you know the genes to a guy you know shouldn't be like hey you really want me to roll it all out I mean I don't know there should there should be something there like some mechanic where the gene, gene the Gretchen player can like forego activating his guy because yeah. he's not going to do any damage without having to remove it, he's giving his opponent the option to remove his things. So mm -hmm. there's, there's this rule that I, I don't think will ever come up, or if it does, like, you know, once every tenth game or something, it'll come up where someone's like, yeah, I will not swing with my guys and let you resolve the combat to save time. Uh, you know, I get, it'll, sure, it's, it's going to come up at some the, point. You can't not attack. Yeah, exactly, in the, in the rules. And that's why yeah. I'm saying there should be a rule 
with a clock, mm -hmm. you should be able to not activate a unit, and your opponent then gets to choose to remove its own models. Um, so like the like the reason you need to do that is so that like the death company guy who tri bases you can can choose not to activate then mm -hmm. and then leave you locked in combat. You would be able to, to remove the guy he tri based and any amount of guys you want so you can even get him out of combat. Because mm -hmm. that's the that's the fear is that the gamer and everyone will say, Oh, I tri base you and then I'm gonna not activate my death company because I want to stay locked in combat so you don't shoot me. And if he does that, then the you know, if he if that was the only thing, he just can choose not to do it, then the guy who's tri base will go, Well fuck, I can't nothing yeah. I can do. But if you get the guy who has tri based the option to just kill is zero to as many as, as his whole squad, mm -hmm. then he can remove his own guys from combat to avoid being locked in combat. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that that that's something that you know the death company guy can do to save time, knowing that he might get screwed because of it, he can still save time. Yeah. So it becomes just a time saving choice instead of like a a weird like I'm not gonna activate to save time, but then I have, I get fucked because of it. You know, it's like yeah. a, that. That's what I dislike about the current rule set. But you know, it is what it is. It's not it's not a bad addition to the rule. Just I think no. my personal opinion is that it could be changed. But um, it, the way it is is it's like never gonna be chosen to done be done. But. Mm -hmm. You know. For me, I like the clock because I'm new to Dark Angels, clearly, uh, and um, so for me, this is like I'm playing a small elite army, which sh should play faster. And even then, with that, I found that like I I ended up with less time than Jeff did because I didn't know my army as well. And so I think having a clock, even when you're doing your games at your local store or whatever, I think is good to help you realize, okay, I'm thinking about going to a tournament. I'm playing this new army. How fast can I really Play this army you know what i mean yeah because like yeah. i've i've played tau games to turn six and seven and seventh edition with like tons of stuff tons of shooting and still have like an hour and extra for lunch you know with, with, against another player who also knows their army so i think it's great for that and then kind of along the lines of what you said just getting in getting into that habit of i know i'm under a gun i know i'm under pressure but remembering that mantra of i have to do x y and z before my turn's over because I, I forgot like two charges at least during this game that you were like hey did you mean to charge here you know, which had it not had I not actually been playing a friendly game, I would have been screwed because I would have said I did, I screwed up, that's on me, I can't charge. You know, and I would have gotten screwed. So I don't know. I that's my two cents. Yeah, I think uh, I like clocks, uh, but I was clocks talking good. to our t local TO about after the RTT on mm -hmm. Saturday, and you know he, his question was, do you think we? You know, he he was wondering what our opinions on whether the RTTs in our local area should use the clock. And I actually, I don't, I don't think so. My, my personal opinion is that at the RTT level, you get a lot of people who are more casual than someone who's going to go to a GT. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think if both players agree, or maybe just doing it at the top two tables in round two and three or something like that mm -hmm. of your RTT, where the peak players are more concerned with practicing yeah. for a big event or something like that, you know, maybe the month before the BAO. But as in general rule, I don't think you need to because as an RGT, most people are there to either try a new army, so they're they're going to need more yeah. time, and or they're just there to have fun. And, and the RTTs are where most more casual players who go to tournaments go. They don't go... Right. It's unlikely that someone just goes to the BAO and that's their one tournament. Yeah, because that's such a huge yeah. sink, so it's like yeah. there has yeah. to be more than the, just the yeah. fun incentiveness. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are some people who go to BAO and LBO, they're like, I'm here to have a good kick Oh, sure, yeah, absolutely. Like, but, and they have fun. You know, but the but, percentage of those, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I think, but the it's... The people who go to RTT, at least in our local area, there's a lot of people who are competitive. Mm -hmm. A lot. You know, we have a very big competitive scene. But it's, there's also, you know, people who just come in and have fun. They're just like, I'm oh, yeah. here, it's my first tournament. You know, adding that clock to an RTT, which is the entry level event for most people who are getting into the tournament right. scene, I think is a, personally a bad idea because it just it can discourage people from wanting to attend those events. I think if you do it at the top two tables for mm -hmm. like second round, third round, sure. Yeah. Or at or at any table of both both players agree to use the clock. Like I used the clock my first round against Nikhil because I was like, let's practice with it. We didn't actually have it be a death clock. We just said, we're just gonna practice with the clock, see yeah. what it's like, you know, so. Um, yeah, especially because something I hear a lot from people who are new is, well, I don't understand like ITC rules, why are, like they, they already feel kind of overwhelmed by the competitive nature and the additional rules of ITC. So when you throw a clock on there, yeah, and they're gonna turn, they it'll get, turn people off. They get paired up against like a, a fucking smash face list. They get, they get not only they're getting tabled, but then they like have to worry about the stress of a clock. Yeah. Like there's a reason why, you know, recent his events is saying only the top tables on day mm -hmm. two because 
the, the reality is, is a chess clock is, is, is fun if you want to be competitive. I think it adds a level of fun to the game. Mm-hmm. But for most people, it's stressful. You're adding, yeah. a, you're adding a, a stressor on the game. Crazy Red, I'd say, yeah, maybe this isn't the best answer. And this is going to sound like I'm quoting a movie, but it's the only one we got, man. <laughs> like, I mean, in all honesty, like, I mean, I... I well, I, I mean... Am I wrong in that? Letting like, it open is doing 1650. Yeah. Well, we'll see what their data shows. I mean, like, the thing is, I actually don't think that a reduction in points really reduces the decisions you make in a game. It, it reduces it, the amount of dice you roll. And it reduces the chances of you picking certain factions that need those extra points to really function. Like, imagine knights at, imagine knights trying to play in a 1650, even with the armagers coming out. Well, I actually points. think it makes those kind of armies cooler because it's like you're... you're yeah, because you just people one knight and then the armagers... Yeah, or but uh, or you, the people who are you know they're not going to have that four hundred extra points to spend on Lascan and Devastators. Or yeah, so, so yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm just I'm just remembering back to seventh where, and John's going to call me out on this, but where I you know building a tau list, I you know there was a massive difference in what I could do with fifteen hundred points versus eighteen fifty. Because there was that period of time where this came up in seventh about timing issues and blah blah, and there were three or there were two RTTs back to back where they did different point levels, and one was fifteen hundred, and the next one was I think seventeen hundred, maybe not something even something like that, sixteen fifty. And it dramatically changed what I could do, and so I don't know. For I mean, for me, that's one of the things that I I, I like to look for that balance, and so I, I don't know. I, I just feel like a lot of factions will <coughs> hurt in the long run if you negate points that are allowed to be used. I, I don't know, I think, I think, I don't Because for some armies, yeah, the last cannons are, sure, hurtful chaff, but they're chaff, they're extra stuff you can uh, throw in there. But I, I think everyone has enough options so that you're gonna, the point level, unless you reach like a thousand points or something, the, the 1500 point level, 1650, the, I don't think it's gonna reduce the amount of decisions you make in the, arm, in the game. You might, mm-hmm. it might speed up the game in the sense that like you have less models on the board, mm-hmm. but, if it's if you know you have two and a half hours, you're going to take a little longer to think about your turns. Yeah, you know, like it's it's people you will use the whole the whole time if they if they can. Unless things are rolling and it's and it's easy, you know. Once once things are rolling, that's the reason why the first turn takes so long is because you have so many decisions in front of you. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I would agree. Actually, I think Axis of Entropy said that you know you should pause for scoring. I I on the RTT last weekend, I did pause the score um, because you know. Why not? I, it's silly to keep it. It's thirty seconds, but it, you know, it, there's a pause button on the clock for a reason. Mm-hmm. You know, and yeah, I, we use it for any rules questions that were like a judge. What do you have to call a judge or something? Like yeah, that. which makes sense. Um, but if you're looking up a rule in your book, that's on your talk. That's on your time. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All All right. Anything else? Any other insights? We'll see how orcs and Tau do next time. <laughs> yeah, or not, yeah, sure, not sure when the next one is, but it'll be. Yeah, well, we can do it whenever because well, then we'll talk about the way. <laughs> the garage, the garage, the studio, the Burbank Studios. Burbank Studios. All right, we'll call that a night. We'll see everybody this week for this week's normal episode of KFG Radio. Uh, we will not be talking about Tau because uh, Tom does not want to. I don't have time this week. Whatever. Let me actually look at the codex. It won't so, be a review, I swear. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody, and good night. <laughs> good night. That worked out pretty well. Yeah, that was a fun game.